DVR, it's up for debate still, but hello, if you can see my face on your television set, um, you are, it, it, it worked. All right. Hello, are we live? If someone in the chat doesn't speak up in two seconds, thank you, Internet Soldiers Elite, for your sub. If you didn't hear that thank you, then say it. Then let me know if it's not working. Okay, I'm seeing someone saying yo. Who would they be saying yo to if it wasn't for me or you? Or that guy at the dumpster back there. Is it that guy? I don't know. Oh, I thought there was. I'm, I'm wrong. From... Yo, what's up, everybody? We are live for a brand new Future Probe episode. We're here. Get this out of my face. <laughs> we are here in San Diego. Thank you, Angry Hippie, for your sub. Thank you, Tutti Fruity, for your sub. But this isn't all about thanking subs. Tonight we heard, we heard about some, this is kind of exciting. We're always, you know, if you watch this, you, uh, you know, we're here, Johnny's here, Kevin's Hello. here and I'm here and we're always excited to explore new food options in San Diego. You guys know we discovered that hot chicken. That was really yeah. good. You know, when that showed up, we've been to all kinds of places all over the map, but today we're going to have something truly kind of incredible we're gonna really go a little bit nuts tonight and so we hope you guys can join us and have another um just another great food odyssey you know and when you come to san diego you can try all these many options that we have on our stream and 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 kind of uh have a, have kind of a foodie uh weekend for yourself <laughs> anyway all right we're gonna check this place out I, yeah. I don't really know a lot about it they got some michelin so, stars so it's all good yeah this place has at least a few like kevin's always on the michelin, yeah, star. michelin star you always I do your them. research They're on that total bullshit. <laughs> no them. yeah and uh it's kind of foodie yeah. uh, guilty I'm as charged foodie. big foodie and uh so i don't really know everything about this place yeah um so hopefully they'll you know work with us and on you know trying to navigate the menu a little bit um so anyway we're gonna put this here uh, guys, I'm not. Uh, I'm in the studio right now, so this is um, this is green screen. What I'm about to do um, here. So um, <laughs> that's also right by the AC. Can you hear the oh, AC? Oh, can you hear? Oh, yeah. I'll turn it down. Oh. Is that better? Guys, uh, I have, I'm not operating any kind of uh, machine or anything right now. This is, uh, again, shout out Freddie Wong and uh, the guys at Rocket Jump. They uh, told us how to make this look good. Yeah. That's hilarious. If I put it right there, I was like, ah. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. That's okay. Okay, is that? Yeah, I think I got to get that, right? Yeah, I'm doing it. Wait, pickle, fries? pickle fries? What? Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. fuck. That's I'm it. getting all of that. That's oh, it. Oh, my God. Yeah, done deal. Done deal. Yeah. Eric's in the chat. Eric's rating He's right rating. now. He's rating. Yo, we're oh. about to get some pickle oh, fries. Oh, you're about... You're not even going to remember, Eric, after this raid. <laughs> you're not even going to... You, you're never going to turn back. You just found the stream to end all streams. Twitch... Twitch was invented for what we're about to do. Um, so, anyway, guys... Bear with us. We are going to, yeah. What's that? What do we do to get such good green screen? I don't know. Computer. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, I don't talk know. to Freddie Wong about Windows. that. Message, uh, message, uh, corridor digital and ask them. Cause I don't know that, that bullshit. Yeah. Look up how to mask in, uh, after effects. Yeah. Look up Andrew Kramer and he'll run you through the, the tutorial, but I don't, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, guys, uh, let's see. Industrial line. We are going to uh, check this out. We're going to see what this is all about. This is kind of a new thing for us. Um, we're really excited about it. Anyway, might be kind of a wait here. So how's everybody in the chat doing? No hot chicken tonight. Guys, we've had the hot chicken yeah, more than once. Yeah, it's kind so of it would gross. make no sense to go back. We're into new stuff. Um, what is that shirt? I got the uh, a lot of you uh, a, lot, a lot of you eye dosers out there have been waiting on this shirt to show up. We got the uh, ice cream melt shirt, so uh, I've been wearing that. Some people got theirs. Or wait, I think uh, the tie dye stuff should be arriving soon. That's what we were waiting on, but it's supposed to. I think it's supposed to show up like tomorrow, or or, yeah. or I don't know if we'll have it tomorrow. It'll be done at least, yeah. so we'll we'll get that out soon. Um, are right, we got a hype train going? 
Nice. Guys, we are, um, I'm going to let them know when we order the food that we have a hype train going. So yeah, kind of speed it up. <laughs> you know, don't, don't diddle that. I'm going to say don't diddle daddle at the grill. Yeah. <laughs> you think that'll get our food out faster? Yeah. <laughs> don't diddle daddle at the grill. No more fiddle faddle diddle daddle. Yeah. No. <laughs> what a rude person to say that. And by the way, don't diddle daddle at the grill. Yeah, yeah. don't. <laughs> We're getting guaranteed spit on our... What is the, the fry later? Yeah. <laughs> that is a guaranteed lube on your burger. Or whatever we're getting. I don't know what we're... I don't even know what we're ordering. Yeah. Wait, was there... Okay. It's a combo with the burger fries. Shout out to our sponsor, Tanga. Shouts out. Masturbate better. I don't know uh, why the hat says that. I'm not really sure what that has to do with the company, but... That does say it. Um, all right, guys, it'll be any any moment now. We are really just kind of in the suspense period. We're in the thick of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we've been excited about this for quite a uh, the extended Death Stranding trailer. No, I have not uh, watched it yet. I saw the details. It's coming out in September. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, excited, but I haven't. We weren't. No, we were like in the middle of a meeting, and then I was like, "Wait, there's a Sony thing happening right now." I watched it. No, oh, did you? Yeah. They. <laughs> the thing that was cracking me up. They added a thing uh, that you could build where you could just launch the packages oh. like, to where they need to go. And that was cracking me up. That's cool. And also like a racing mode. They're calling like the yeah the, the fragile, fragile cup or something yeah, yeah. fragile grand prix or some fragile shit. grand prix yeah I'm excited I've been di I have been dying to return to that world that whole you know I, I didn't do a lot of the extra side stuff some of it mm -hmm. but uh, I've been dying to go then you you're waiting to start it yeah I cannot wait to play that yeah they made it seem like they're adding more missions too it sounded that way because one of the things I saw it said new battles yeah new whatever so there's got to be something. And there was like a new cutscene that they, like there was like a second of it. So. Oh, I'm so I'm so in, I'm so in for that. Um, speaking of Death Stranding, is looking kind of grim right now. I thought we had ordered the food by yeah. this point. Thoughts on the OLED switch? Um, we're all getting two. Well, you know, OLED does have burn-ins, so we're all going to order three of them. Yeah. So in case one fails, no. Um. No, I feel like I'm the only one excited about it. Like, like I play enough of the Switch portable that I'm like, oh, this whole time I've been like, please just do one with like an OLED screen and get rid of the bezel and fill it up. So they did that. I'm excited uh, about that and better sound system. But I, I don't think it's like a real compelling option for most people. Yeah. I don't think it's that interesting yeah, beyond that. Know. They should smooth out the frame rate stuff and all that I think that would have been a lot more compelling okay guys we're sorry up. we're up uh sure thanks beef and bun oh that's what that's, this is called yeah because everyone kept telling us yeah. yeah this is the food place you know yes. but I didn't know I never hear it in, heard a name that's good to know okay yeah, guys, yeah. beef and bun you ever heard of this place no uh, yeah, I'm just going to get the special of the month. Well, uh, it has cookie dough on top. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, guys, there is a special There's a special shake of the month. And when we heard what it was, we got we came down here as fast yeah. as we could. Do you want me to tell them or do you want it to be a surprise? Oh, no, it's a, they'll find out. Okay. Somebody in the chat said we always order the beef this time order a bun. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. That's yeah, you're it up. Damn turtle verse. Thank you for the 77 months. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Pickle fries. What are Dude, pickle fries? I think it's just deep fried pickles, but in fry shape. Which I love. I love deep fried I don't pickles. know. Or it could be fries that are just flavored pickle. I don't know. I want them. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I need that. I need that. Yeah, I want that combo. Mountain, with the Mountain Dew. That good old Mountain Dew. Have a two liter Mountain Dew. Craig Reno, thank you. Specials. 
though. I think we're yeah. getting three of those. The only thing is, I don't want lettuce or tomato on mine because oh, that's gonna get that's gonna pollute all healthy. the good stuff. Yeah. Then order it separately. Like, uh, like, do yours first. No, I'm gonna throw it in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of doing like, hey, three of those, those fuckers. I love that the menu says meat made from plants. It just might Ooh. change the world. <laughs> Might just change the world. I love that it says that. Dude, they're dilly It's like a Dreamcast game. Yeah. Like the <laughs> they're dilly dallying on the grill right now. Yeah, they're diddle daddle. Diddle daddle. I wonder if they're like tuning in right now. Yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. Thank you for the nice words on the Disgaea video. I appreciate that. I'll do that too. Regular, so yeah. three of those. Yeah. Simple. It's yeah. a simple order. Yeah. I don't have a Pepsi with mine. What drink are you getting? Mountain Dew. I need that caffeine. Impossible meat is pretty dope. I I, I agree. Yeah, I like Impossible. I was I've always I've always been impressed by it. Thank you, Ben Jim Scribs, for this. So. <laughs> I'm trying to debate if I want the extra calories of getting the Mountain Dew. I mean, at this point, at yeah, this point, it doesn't matter, really matter. But does that tip me over to the diabetes, or is that like it might uh, save you? The, oh. the caffeine helps you run away from it. <laughs> Wish you could have seen Rocco do the entire obstacle course. Well, I'm sure we have that footage. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure you will. The surfboard part wasn't. I just couldn't even do it. I couldn't even stand up on it. Yeah. So that's not even that entertaining. The obstacle course, I just stumbled through the whole thing. And the maze, I just got lost for half an hour to the point where it's like <laughs> that. I, no I, I couldn't you do the maze. Doubling back, and then I, I'm like, in the and corner, you can, It's so. You're like touching. I don't want to hype that up. That is yeah. the best footage I've seen in a long time. Really? You going through that maze? Me and Kevin are just in there cackling. Oh, yeah. I could, dude. And it's so funny because I could tell Derek was so in the mood to move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was like, No. Uh, no. Oh, okay. What can I do for you? Uh, we wanted to get three of the pastrami burger combos. Okay, one second. Overloading the system. Uh, for the first one, what can I do for the drink? Uh, oh, I, I just wanted to get one of the combos with no lettuce or tomato, if possible. Uh, you want one of them with no lettuce and no tomato? Yeah. Okay, no lettuce, no tomato. Uh, what can I do for the drink? Uh, for the first one... Pepsi. Pepsi. Okay, I got you up for a large Pepsi. And right, for the second one, what can I do for the drink? Mountain Dew. Another Mountain Dew. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, and then I want to get three of the uh, peanut butter cookie dough shakes. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What's one that? Second. Oh uh, yeah, no worries. For the second one, what was the what was the drink? You said Pepsi. Uh, I think we had a, a Pepsi and two Mountain Dews. And two Mountain Dews. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, and uh, what else can I get you? And then uh, three of the shake of the month. Three shakes of the month. You got it. And yeah, just all all regular size. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? No, I think that's it. Actually, I'm sorry. Can I get one uh, cup of water? And a cup of water. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Your total is going to be sixty-five seventy. Thank you. Thank you. That hit that hit a weird moment there. Yeah. When we ordered those, when we said shake of the month or whatever, and he was like, uh oh, like he said whatever he said, he's like, wait. I was like, uh oh, they're not gonna have the shake. I was about to peel out. Fuck yeah. I was about yeah, to good go luck. Home. There's cars in front. And You're gonna push all these cars hey, out of the way. I could do it. I I'd, I'd take this tree out, but yeah. I'd I'd make it. <laughs> I'd be out. One day we gotta try this fucking pizza, pasta, 
pieced up like, parts of puzzle. Yeah, yeah. like our star zones, deli sandwiches. We should order the tub of fish if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way, throw in a tub of fish, yeah. and you just hear him in the back go, oh! oh God. Thank you for adding a tour stop in Michigan. The venue is only about an hour from my house. I'm going to try to get... Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, tickets on sale tomorrow oh, for the Last Laugh Tour. We are going around the country. You know, comedy as good as this, you, do, you know, I mean, we're, what we're bringing to you right now, wouldn't you like to have that in your hometown? I mean, isn't this just so amazing that you would want that? The Duke of Duke, of Duke subbed. I forgot the wet naps. Oh. oh, that was like half the reason. Dude. He, the, 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 it was Turtleverse that sent him, right? Yeah. He was sent it Turtleverse? Us a, he sent a bunch of uh, wet naps yeah. that we could use them in, for situations like this. Oh, we forgot the pickle fries. No, it comes yeah, with Oh, it combo. comes with it? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Some of the chat said I that. Hope not, they, I, I literally was about that. to scream. I hope they know that because if, if not, we're... we're Should I say it at the window? Like, that comes with pickle fries. Yeah, yeah. Turtleverse says, don't make a mess. I'll try. Yeah, do your best. Thank you, Planet Bob, for the sub. <laughs> John, take any chance of now. adding Colorado dates to the last left tour? I don't think so. I don't think we're adding any other cities. Yeah, I think it's locked in there. Oh. There were a couple uh, things that we were going to do that did get canceled or, like, we had to reconfigure. Now I'm trying to think of what they were. But, um... You know, we really want to go to, like, Canada. Yeah. Um, and we were going to try to do that in this tour, but that was kind of its own challenge. So I would love to, at some point, do, like, yo, all right, we're dedic we're just going to do a dedicated Canada thing. That's the only thing that, that got kind of left yeah. out on this one. But in terms of American cities, I think that's it for now. That that I know of. I don't know what... I don't, I don't know if there's any plan to do I more. I think you pull up a little bit. I think they're trying to order through the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> LA is going to be good. I agree. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are asking for a hometown show, too, San Diego. But San Diego is kind of weird. The venue situation is like you're either doing a very little thing or a huge haul. Yeah. And so I, it was we, we were going to try to book it at a smaller thing, but it, it didn't really accommodate what we do in the show. And we kind of couldn't make that work. So, you know, there's a possibility maybe we'll do a bigger thing later. But uh, I think the L.A. show is going to be so good. We'll, that, we're in the radius of that, that it'll, you know, yeah. the comedy will radiate through many miles. Are you going to do the classic mass for a shirt? Oh, I have to, yeah. yeah. They're they're, they're, you can tell they're slammed. Yeah. Oh, damn. podcast upload on Spotify this week. Yeah, there was none. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have one. <laughs> there yeah. was the other one. That's like that thing. That's like we kept getting comments like, why is the after show taking so yeah, long yeah, yeah. to come out? We didn't do it. There one. wasn't one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it depends on, like, if you're coming during VIP, I mean, I'll sign whatever. Yeah. Outside of that, if you're not, you know, if we, if you happen to just catch us, I mean, I'll sign whatever. I don't care, but I don't know what they're Oh, cool. There you go. And I just want to double check with the, with the pastrami burger combo. That's with the pickle fries. Okay. That was amazing. He was very determined. Yeah. We're going to get those. Yeah, we got, we got Okay, awesome. perfect. Thank that's perfect. what that's what we're looking for. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. They're regular five degrees, so and I love that. Yeah, Kevin 
low key thirsting for those fries. Perfect. I am so hungry. Yeah, the me idea too. Of having pickle fries is so like. Oh I haven't eaten. I don't. Me too. I did. I, no, yeah. I, I have oatmeal this morning, but that's about it. I didn't eat a damn thing yesterday. I want to show. I want to show off my new wallet, everybody. This is the In and Out Drink Cup wallet. Uh, I was rocking the Fanta one for a long time, yeah, and then I, I, then I got a Trader Sam's uh, wallet. But I'm doing In and Out Cup now. I think I've been rocking the same wallet for since like 2006. I think. Really? Me too, yeah. dude. The leather wallet just lasts forever. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. I see. I use uh, much cheaper ones than a leather thing. <laughs> They don't last too long. I was just giving oh, this. Go. And yeah, it's I need just, a new wallet so bad. Oh, man. Mine's so I just up. have such an addiction to cute things yeah, like yeah. where oh it looks it like up. it looks like the In and Out cup. Yeah. Oh, that I I sw I swap through stuff all the time. I have another one that's just made of like old Disney ride posters. Oh, Sometimes yeah, I'll yeah, use that. that. Great. Also got some promo material guys. Yeah. For you know our business not ours, but it might as well be. I've paid enough, I think I own part of the company. And what else do I keep in the front of my car? <laughs> yeah, whoop, gaffer's tape. You always need that. Dude, I never forgot really about duct tape, tape wallets. Oh, yeah, I knew people who had that. Yeah. Those shakes are no joke. I Cookie dough is like, he was. He had like mountains of it in there. This is going to be lethal. Yeah, we might not make it out should of this we, one. Should we say what, did we say? We no, we really didn't. Said. No. Should we say it now or when we get it? Uh, whatever you want to do. The shake of the month. We ordered the shake of the month. And they're making them right now. Oh my, they're putting so much into it. <laughs> it is, is the, up. it is the Reese's, it is the peanut butter cookie dough shake with Reese's pieces, pieces, pieces in, it. in it. So I think it's peanut butter ice cream with Reese's pieces, word up in the machine in it, and then topped yeah. with the uh, cookie dough. Uh, peanut butter cookie dough. I've been seeing them put this cookie. They've been working on these shakes this whole time, and I've been, he put the cookie dough in there. And there's mountains of it in there. Oh, sick. Are we trying to catch up or anything with that? You want to catch up right now? Oh no, I'll be good. the group. All right, let's give you some napkins. Oh, thank you. Uh, and we're working on your shakes right now. Okay, yeah, thank perfect. You. Is that more right there? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you brought those. They have two couple. Yeah, I just don't want to drive with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. We got drinks coming too. Right? Yeah, yeah, drinks and shakes. Is there any specific regional food you guys are excited to get on tour? Yes. For me, uh, deep dish pizza. I've never had it. For me, I've been told about this place forever. I definitely want to do a video or something when we mm -hmm. go. Skyline Chili. Ooh, I've heard that? about I've heard about Skyline Chili forever, and it's I think it's in. Do people in the chat know where it's in? I thought it was like Cincinnati or something. No, where is it? Also, Wawa. We can yeah. get that up. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank Shoot. you. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Drinks are coming out. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, Portland has like amazing food places. I, I got to look into you know what? some of that shit. A lot of people are saying Skyline's not worth the hype. People tell me that about every big yeah. thing in yeah, a city. Every single one. There's always gonna, there's always someone who thinks that. Except for Whataburger. Everybody hypes up Whataburger like it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> well, I hear both, so I'll see it for myself. I'm putting that in there. I don't know who's this, this one's gonna be, but I didn't touch the. Oh shit! Back. Can you, uh, trying to do pass it. Me a yeah. I don't know where we're gonna put these second drinks. Oh, me I, oh, either. If you guys were in the back seat, you'd have two cup holders oh, ready well. to go. That'd be a funny idea. We just go in the back. <laughs> it's all squished together. Oh, my God. oh, the drinks are so big, too. Cool. There, I think that's, that's a Pepsi. 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 Coming back. Thank you. <laughs> Guess I could put that here. No, I'm just going to hold this. I don't. I'm afraid. I can. I can I, there's a couple. Hey, this one will fit right there. Okay. 
So do that, and then you can put dues. You can do the do there. I smell those pickle fries. Ooh. Me too. No, so, we got more. We got more straws. Oh, you? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Perfect. I think that's everything. Yep. Do you, yep. I have a quick question. Yeah. Sometimes you guys have shirts here. Do you have any shirts in stock right now? Let me see. Okay. Thanks. Dude, might get might get lucky. Nice and night. Take a little sip of this Mountain Dew. Some of that caffeine. Take a sip of the Dew. I'm gonna do the Dew right now. You will see so me much. here. I'll take one. Well, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, did you get your food? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, I think we're all set. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Cool. See you in two months. One of these times, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, that will be the payoff. And then I can die in peace. Uh, where do you want to go? You just park where we are. You just park before the library. Oh, yeah. Library ain't open. Yeah. <laughs> ain't reading no books. Yeah. Kidding me? Again, guys, we're in our studio right now. This is not, um, there's no vehicle funny stuff here. We're, uh, <laughs> you know, I want to say shout out uh, Adobe Premiere Rush. You can edit videos yeah. to look however on your uh, iPad. All right. I ain't using fucking DaVinci Resolve or whatever. Yeah, fuck. we're not doing DaVinci Resolve here. DaVinci? DaVinci Resolve. Um, yeah, ILM. Yeah, we're doing Mandalorian. This is, we're in the volume yeah. right now. We're in the volume. <laughs> that thing's awesome. Um, okay. Anytime you need to say the volume, I think of the void, that 3D yeah. Star Wars thing. Yeah. Yep. Rest in peace. That was not a survivor of COVID, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna try the shake. Is that cool? Oh my gosh. Yeah, go for it. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna try it too. Okay, okay. I'll try it. I'll try it. Guys, okay, once again, what is it? Peanut bird. butter cookie dough Reese's pieces know, all whipped in there. shake. As soon as I heard that, I had to have it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, fuck it. It's too thick. Oh, he shakes it like that. That's great. It's got a bit of a waxy undertone. <laughs> Kevin has always bad. This is what I was afraid of. Reese's Pieces, one of the best candies of all time. But you bring them up around Kevin, and then what does he say? I don't know. They make my mouth all waxy. I'm, I'm just saying that they're not. They're not mean. Bad, but they're not Reese's peanut butter cups. In the well, that I agree. Lightest. That I agree. Just they are, they are, they are not anywhere near as good as Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Like hell, the chat. Three boys sucking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is amazing. Yeah, it's great. This is fucking. Oh yeah, amazing. The, the shake is awesome. <laughs> and you got that cookie dough in there. There's so much raw dough in there. We're gonna get salmonella. Yeah. All right. oh, fuck. These pickle fries look they, they amazing. Smell great. Oh. Okay, Don't so. Know. So there's just like three bags here. Oh, that's easy. Wait, one of them doesn't have lettuce and tomato. Yeah, I was about you to decide. Say. <laughs> Choose wisely. One will give you life, the other will take it from you. I think I chose. I'm not seeing lettuce and tomato on this one. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, there is. I'm not seeing lettuce and tomato on mine. What do you. Oh, this one? Are we good? I didn't check it. I assume. Oh. Unless they fucked it up. Yeah, they could have, but that's not the end of the world. There. This one's like bonded with the bag. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I was having a hard time getting that one out. Yeah, this one hit. I think that might be the better bet, that one. You want this one? Yeah. Because sure. I think that one's oh, the fair. least, the least, the least tainted. Yeah. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, guys. Yeah, I think there's just like a rope piece of lettuce on here. That's not that big deal. Okay. Damn. We got pastrami burgers on sourdough bread. Yeah. 
Once again, want to give a shout out to Beef and Bun. You know, it's kind of a new thing for us. You know, we're kind of going out on a limb to try this. I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, yeah pop it. Mm. Only one bag had napkins. Wow. That's awesome. Who got the napkins? Wow. This has pickles in it. No, it's really. Oh, oh. This is so good. You don't like pickles on your anything? Yeah, right. Yeah, you gotta. It ain't right with me. Yeah, you got. Go, if you're uh, if you're not a fan of pickles, go stream on Stick'em <laughs> or uh, yeah. Justin TV. Pastrami. Oh yeah, that's for the pickle fries. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm so afraid of having this. Mm. Now, it is some kind of new sauce. Do you know what kind of sauce it is? No. It looks foreign. It looks like a foreign fluid. But you are in my car. Yeah. I'm reminding you. That's why I want to fuck with it. They're framing up <laughs> so when I fucking spill. I'm getting you this on camera. Yeah. No. I'm going in. Look delicious. Are they actually pretty cool? Oh, they bro. Be. That is fucking awesome. That's a big old fry. Dude, what is this? Oh, these are my cookies. Okay. Straight up. Are they actually fried pickles? Yeah. So they're not potatoes? Nope, nope. It's a deep fried pickle. Whoa. Oh, I love that. All right, I'm trying it too. Let's see how that goes. Oh my god. Oh, that's better than it should be. Yeah. I like Why is that so burger. good? <laughs> I've always loved deep fried pickles. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's just a uh, thinner deep fried pickles. Oh, I'm moving on to that. Listen, the burger is good, but that that pickle fry is amazing. I gotta try it with that sauce. Dude, these pickle fries are so good, my hype, my hype level's going through the roof. <laughs> I gotta do it. Hell yeah. I'm so happy a different person was working there today. Mm-hmm. Oh, I they like didn't the, recognize us? The other people thought we were fucking insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what else is new? Is that your AC or are you in a storm? Yeah, I'm in a storm. Yeah. Okay, so what is the sauce situation? It looks like a. I think it's a. Ranch. Looks like like a white like a white fluid. Yeah. What are we looking at here? I dip a fry in yours, so I don't. Sure. Oh yeah. Dip away. Thank you. Is this one here? That's yours. That's mine. Yeah. Okay. How was that? I don't know what the fuck that is. It smells like ranch. Yeah, I do. Like a garlic ranch. Yeah, what is that? Guys, what is this fluid? Looks like it's kind of a thick load. I don't know what that is. Even come. Mm. Aioli. I think it come was. Come and eat. I think it wasn't the aioli. Mm. Mm. I don't know. That might just be ranch. Mm. <laughs> There's a high probability that's just <laughs> ranch. Oh man, this is so good with this though. I might like these more than the burger. I mean, the burger's good, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Pickle fries were the surprise hit. Oh, it's so good. And it's a lot healthier than regular yeah, fries. It's yeah, it's like a veg vegetable, you guys. You gotta eat green vegetables. Damn, I'm, 
I'm surprised how much I love these. I really like the burger too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is good too, absolutely. Yeah, someone's right, zero calories. We're health, we're health nuts in here. You guys saw how much we worked out in the new Disgaea video. Yeah. So we're kind of in a calorie deficit right now. So we're trying to bulk up. Listen, normally I do get like a diet drink or a water. Yeah, same. In fact, I get a water and they didn't give it to me. But oh, yeah. I thought Diet Pepsi is so gross. I'm just going to get, yeah, I'll get what he gets. I did not need a Mountain Dew. That is like killing me, me right now. That's like <laughs> aggro. That's too much sugar. I got to save my sugar sugar reserves. Mm. Pickles are actually negative calories because you burn it eating. Yeah. Yeah. So this is all negative calorie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the pickles carve it into the negative, but the burgers bring it up. So it neutralizes. So I think it's like zero. Okay. I understand that. Draw me. So I asked if it was bacon. Oh, no. No, we do pastrami here. Was there, I'm asking the chat, was there anything else cool at the Sony thing? I heard they showed Deathloop again. Oh, God. I feel like I've been seeing Deathloop for like 24 years at this point. <laughs> I feel like I'm stuck in a Deathloop. Oh, yeah, they showed a trailer for that. For what? Judgment 2. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Yeah, when's the pre-order for the Switch going up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that before we got cut off. Yeah. Um, I think the new Switch is like a, more compelling if you don't own one. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I don't, as a rebot, I mean, I play enough on portable that it's worth it to me. And, you know, honestly, I'll probably get a huge, I'll probably get a lot for my current Switch. Yeah. So to upgrade won't cost me that much. So it's worth it for me. But most people I know, who cares? I don't know. I just don't think it, it's that compelling. You're going to sell your old one? Mm, probably. Okay. I mean, if you're doing that, that makes sense. Maybe I'll do that. I did that with... I already upgraded my Switch once when they when they put the better battery yeah. in. Oh. And I sold my other Switch. I got like... I don't remember how much, but when it was all said and done, I think it cost 70 bucks to, up, to get the new Switch with the new battery. And for me, I played it enough, and it was constantly dying that I thought, yes, for 70 bucks, I would absolutely get it, yeah. you know. So that's what I did there. Um, I think I'll do that with this, but I would love to hear people's thoughts on the screen first. Like, people see it in person. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll look good, but. I'm surprised the pre-orders haven't gone up. Yeah, I know, where, where are those? Are you, you're on the shake now, huh? I gotta 
cool off my mouth. These uh, uh, pickle fries are a little spicy. Are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I didn't really notice that. Mm. I didn't notice any spice. Me either. Kevin, maybe, maybe you're, you're just fucked up. That. I yeah. back. <laughs> your your, your oh, tongue yeah. is catching up to you. From yeah. <laughs> I could be wrong though. I'm ironically watching this while working out. Why is that ironic? Well, um, we are too. Yeah, I don't, I'm working out too. I'm breaking what's a, sweat. What's the joke? Yeah, I'm sweating. So what does that, you know, make you better than me? <laughs> Someone yesterday when I was in the PPS chat, because mm -hmm. I would pop in there sometimes, if I'm working at the studio said uh, yeah I can't wait to see them live or something and then they were like yeah um, I was surprised Rocco's six feet um, gives off short guy energy I was like what <laughs> so I put a question mark in the chat and then they were like oh it's the cargo short outfit listen I don't have any cargo shorts cargo shorts are like what a dad wears with a bunch of pockets on yeah it. I have one pair of those, and it was a Jurassic Park pair I bought ironically. My regular outfit is not that. They're just long Juggalo-style shorts, okay? That's wow. different. That's not the same. We're all much taller than, than, than it looks. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm shorter than you think. No, you're, you're, you're hard on yourself. No, oh, hell yeah. Right, I'm on to the pickle fries. I got a, I got a little strangler. Yes, mm. they slip out. The homie slipped out. <laughs> oh, these are spicy. Really? Yeah. I didn't taste any spice with them. You ate all of them? Mm-hmm. All of them. I didn't notice any. Dude. Some of them are a little spicy. Really? Yeah. Up now, I want to try. I got some leftovers. Give me one of yours, and I'm gonna see. I'll tell you. I'll let you know if they're spicy. Okay. There's one. Is it spicy? I'll tell you. Here we go. Am I nuts? I, I don't detect any spice. I think Dude, you know, I'm okay, I'm taking one of his. Dude, do I have, do I have COVID? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, this one was from Johnny's. Hmm. That one might have been a little spicy. Yeah, some of them yeah. have like a slight kick. Yeah, that Somewhere. last one, Kevin, I didn't, I yeah. really didn't sense anything. That one, I see what you're saying. Yeah, very strange. It's not lethal, but. No, no, I like it. Any chances get, oh, I missed the question. Mm -hmm. I'll touch it with my greasy finger. Any chances that some cities will get extra shows and stuff? Um, oh, son of a bitch. Every time I press something, the chat goes away. Okay, it's not impossible that if a show is like a mega sellout, we could do another one. It's not impossible, but we are at the mercy of the venue. So I would just, tr I would try to get the, the ticket you want now because sometimes we want to do that and it's like, no. I remember New York on the last time we toured. Yeah. That was an instant sellout the day it went up. I mean, the, the venue we went was was completely sold out the day the tickets went on sale. Yep. And we tried desperately, like, well, we gotta add another show, or we gotta do this, we gotta do that. And it was like, no, you, that, that was it. Like, you have no other option. So, it's not impossible. We're gonna try to work with the venues if something happens. I don't know, but it's, it's gonna be interesting. I'm curious to see how all that will go because with our East Coast tour, last time in 2020 we played a lot of different cities so you know you got new york you got philly but then we yeah. also did like um what where did we go virginia where uh, virginia? north carolina mm -hmm. uh richmond Georgia. richmond, richmond. 
And, the and some of those shows were, yeah, the shows in the big cities were cool. Some of the more obscure cities, you know, weren't weren't sellouts. But yeah. They didn't feel empty at all. No, they didn't. No, none of the shows felt empty. No, they were. Cool. But it was more in like kind of a weird like bar kind of venue. It was a weird yeah. weird scenario. This one, I feel like we're hitting more bigger cities. But I don't know. It's interesting. Some cities, there's a huge demand for us, and other cities are like, wait, what was this? Yeah. And so I'm curious which ones will be which. Or or not. I don't know. Uh, I missed New York and now live in Boston and have a flight in the morning of the tour. Oh, you got plenty. Of, dude, it's not till the end of the year. Yeah, reschedule. reschedule. Easy. Solved your problem for you. Come back to Jersey. Uh, we did We did a great venue in Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm bummed we're not Should have been back. there. Yeah, I don't know. Jersey Johnny was a little bit scary. Yeah. Dude, I gotta read these pieces like logs into the, I can't get anything. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you've ever talked about this debate. Mm. Do you call it Reese's Pieces or Reese's Pieces? I do Reese's Pieces because like, that's what it's called. I heard Reese's Pieces. I, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what you're like. I've definitely heard Reese's. I've heard people say that. I've never heard anyone say PCs after yep. that. That sounds un, that is n- deranged. Yep. PCs? Yeah, I've heard that uh, before. But Reese's, I think, is deranged too. Because mm-hmm. why why would it be Reese's? It's Reese It's apostrophe Reese apostrophe S. Why would it be Oh, it, it'd be like saying Ro- Is that Rocco's hat? No, it's Rock Who's Rock Who's Who. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to do an example. This is feces. <laughs> feces? Like, what are you talking about? All right. I've never been the Wildwood, by the way. What? Someone asked me if I tried uh, water ice. I've had Italian tried, ice. Tried what? Water ice. That's like similar to like a snow cone, I, I think. Oh. I've had it all. It's good. I like shave ice a lot. The only time I've ever had some was at in like the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. Oh yeah. I said Epcot and then I think a giant piece of food. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I've been at the fair. There used to be a shave ice place near me. I would go to this place in New Jersey called Rita's in Freehold. It was Italian ice. It was fucking awesome. Really? I does anyone know if that's still there? Does anyone live in Freehold? All right, yeah, I'm moving on to the shake now, officially. Oh, yeah. Officially. Look at a rainbow that is. Look, look at the <laughs> peanut butter pastiche mm. of goodness there. I got a good I got a good chunk of Reese's Pieces right here. Like, look at that. <laughs> oh, my pieces. God, you got a cluster. <laughs> All right. They have Rita's in San Diego? What? I thought I heard about that. Fuck. I gotta go there. What city was Skyline Chili in? People kept telling me. I'm gonna hit a cookout and buy everybody a meal for <laughs> and the end bill be two dollars or ten. That was the cheapest bill. That whole tour. Since I checked the bill and it was like I was like what? Well you only spent twenty bucks at cookout. What'd you get you only you know who ate? Yeah, Everybody. Right. What? Because that was the night I stayed home at the yeah. hotel. And uh, I was like, there's no way you fed this many people. Yeah. <laughs> it was like 26 bucks or something. <laughs> no, it, was it was like, like what? <laughs> and then I said this on the podcast once, and then somebody in the chat was like, it's all microwave there. That's oh, yeah. how it's so cheap. <laughs> it's like they just heat everything up. <laughs> it definitely tastes like a school lunch. But it was just baffling how much you fucking get. Oh, God, yeah. This shake is amazing. Yeah, I'm so happy. It's a good shake. But, man, I'm hitting some roadblocks. Like, I'm getting the whole Reese's piece up the straw big time. (laughs) And cookie dough. Like, there's mounds of it in here. It should have given me a spoon. I was checking this out. Yes, 
Oh, I'm getting massive chunks. Massive chunks of that cookie dough. You sucking chunks instead of blowing chunks? Oh, definitely. I'm <laughs> sucking chunks over here, dude. Greatest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Are you seeing Black Widow? We were just talking about that. I want to before the podcast. I want to be able to talk about it. Yeah. And I'm finally up on the Marvel movie, so this will be the first one I see. Mm. That is actually in theaters now. I mm. wish I'd done that for Endgame. I wish I was there to see Endgame. Like with yeah. See, that's what I did. Go. I watched them all before yeah. Infinity War. Yeah. I watched and then that. it was like, oh, that was fun. I saw Endgame at home, and I'm like. Um, we got to like do it for fun. Mm -hmm. Someone asked if we, me and Kevin, got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In like our off time and stuff, we did all those things. Yeah, we got to like check them all out. Oh shit. There will be a lot of bonus material from that video. Yeah. Uh, later on. I had fun doing the surfboard thing. The ball like thing was cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, there was a whole ball thing that we didn't even include yeah. in the video. Um because it was just running kind of long and yeah. didn't add up in the final thing, but we'll release that too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hitting the roadblocks. Right? I'm getting to the end of this it's thing. It's delicious, but mm. I'm getting to the end of this thing and I know it's just gonna be tons of Reese's pieces. Mm. That's what I like to hear. I had my regular glasses. I can't reach it. <laughs> Will I watch many scenes of Newark? Oh my God! Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm seeing that in theaters. You know, sure. The theaters that I kind of mm. want to see. Mm. That I didn't hear about the Anthony Bourdain documentary. Oh yeah, I want to see that. Oh, I didn't know it's about that. It's coming to theaters for like a limited thing, and they're showing it close by. So uh, I'd be. Down. I didn't know about that. I'd be down to see that. Is that day. soon? Yeah, I think it's January. Um, January, July 16th. Wow. Um, but I'd be down to see that. I really like Anthony Bourdain. Uh, yeah, I saw a trailer before the Sparks documentary, and I was like, this shit's going to make me cry. Mm -hmm. Damn, I would love to see that. Yes, this is what I thought. <laughs> oh, my God. You got a cup of them. Oh, my God. Kevin, you better eat all of them. I swear to God, if oh, you, if you throw a fit about it. I'll do it. Yeah, all the bottom. Or I'm going to lick them up myself. I'm gonna gap for a second to wipe my fucking watch out. Ass. Yeah. Johnny, did you like the spark stock? Yeah, it was great. A little too long, but it was good. <laughs> really oh. wacky. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I can't taste the fries, sneezing. Yeah. Well, it can only mean one thing, guys. I'm I'm healthy. I don't have time for that stuff. Someone accosted Michael Gandolfini asking him about the movie and stuff. Very rude. Who the hell did that? Beat him up. Yeah. Beat the shit out of him. The guys from Sparks wrote a movie. Oh, yeah? Called Annette. That's been killing it at uh, Cannes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it stars Adam Driver. I really want to see it. Kojima really? was posting about oh. it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think I heard about that, but yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know he wrote it. Or Yeah, the, the, the two guys from Sparks wrote it. Oh, cool. I didn't know they wrote into that. Yeah, that documentary, they keep talking about how they kept trying to make movies, and it would just fucking fail. And they are finally like, yes, we're going to make a movie. Is it a musical? I have no clue. The trailer looks like actually insane. So I, I really <laughs> don't know. Oh, this shake's starting to hit me. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah it, it, you got a Mount Dew finish there, too. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nice Makihito shirt. Thank you. It says 
Fuck you, Sip. That's oh, great. I can't say it on Twitch. Oh, sorry, Fuck. guys. Sorry. Don't worry, we're not uh, doing any of that kind of stuff. We're all incels here. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, God. I'm not supposed to say that. E Sorry, guys. Don't report us. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I said shrimp. Mm. Yeah, I said in, in, cel in celebration of uh, this burger. Yeah. Or, no, nah, fuck, I said incel. I'm in, in, involuntary <laughs> celibate. No. Nah, no. Yeah, but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I knew people would think I was in the penguin costume. It was not me. I'm getting that, mad home. That was just pretty, dude. Home. Pretty. Pretty's a cool guy. I told Garrett this, but I loved the maze part because it, <laughs> when I was filming in there, it was like Metal Gear. Oh, yeah. But, like, <laughs> I would try to, like, not get the shot of the drone. So I'd be up against the wall and the drone would be like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going through the I'm glad you put the that drone eating shit in the video because I was filming and then hearing that thing crash on the ground, I was like, I, for a moment, I was like, I think the shoot might be done. <laughs> like that, the way that thing hit the ground, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, we had that initially cut. I think Derek cut that out. Yeah. And so when when I was doing an edit pass on it, I'm like, I don't even think we need a reason. I just want to add it back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to see it die. But we had professional drone people on Oh yeah. On set to get a lot of those shots. That was really cool. It's yeah, funny it to, awesome. to think that was a drone shot of a drone eating shit. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yep. Nope. Alright, what are we looking at at the bottom of this cup? Oh my god. Oh, that's heaven on earth. It was it was a lot. Did, did you do it, Kevin? Yeah, was it, it was the worst part of the shake. Really? Yeah. The worst? It's gonna be the best for me. Yep. I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna change. It was just cold candy. No. Oh, but you have to freeze your Reese's. Too waxy. People always say, oh come on. Alright. Too waxy. You guys see that? There's nothing but Reese's and cookie dough down there. I'm going for it. You guys ready? <clears throat> Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Is it good? I don't Definitely want, cold. I don't want to ruin your day here, but I don't. I can't finish this. So it is ruined. If you want the rest of it. Oh, that's what you meant. Better. I thought grabs. you just don't want to be bummed out that you didn't finish it. No. You're about to ruin my day because I'm gonna definitely finish. It. <laughs> that's, that's why. That's what in my head. I was like, I think Rocco will finish it. You know what? Give it to the drive-thru guy. Yeah. Kevin, the cookie dough that was down at the bottom yeah. was delicious. Mm -hmm. But, the yeah, the Reese's, I can't even kind of taste them. No, they're just kind of hard. They're just kind of cold and sitting at the bottom of this. Yeah, yeah. it's not that great. Nope. Not bad, but not great. <clears throat> Damn, man. That was good. That, that was shake, cool. I do think that shake was amazing. Yeah, that was great. Anything with peanut butter is like a day plus thing in my book. Yep, I gotta agree with you. But I thought the strawberry burger was good. The pickle fries were great. Uh, pickle fries might have been my favorite part. Yeah, same. I would just get those again. If yeah. They but it was all good. It was all very good. Yeah. yeah. We came at a great time. There's like a huge line now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, huge <laughs> line. I'm hearing police coming. <laughs> Did you see the crazy Wendy Williams show clip? going around. I think I know what you're talking about. Is it her going, death to them both? <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh, okay. I love that one clip of her where she's talking and then it cuts to like a zombie mask and she's like, what was that? I've never seen that. I've never heard of any of that stuff. What was the... <laughs> I, don't, I can show you. I don't know if you want to see it right now, but I'll show you later. Um, let's see. Well, I see Space Jam 2. Nope. Hell no. No interest. People kept trying to send me 
the uh, clip of uh, check it out. That granny from um, Looney Tunes does the Matrix. No, not clicking it. Somebody posted a clip of Porky Pig rapping, and the, this is gonna suck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's like it's the worst. It's gonna yeah. be awful, and you can't yeah. realize. It. Yeah. People still think the old one is fun to watch. It's not. Uh-oh. I loved it when I was a kid. You, you watch it now, and it's it's a misery to get through that. Uh, now there are movies from back then that I know are not good, but are fun to watch. Yeah. That I I don't think that's one of them. That that movie is a chore to get through. I'm trying to think of ones that I really enjoy as a kid that I could watch now. For me, I'll say mine. Yeah. I will say. I get still have a great time watching Hook. Okay. I enjoy Hook. Are you a Hook fan, yeah. Hookman, or no? Uh, I I haven't seen it all the way oh. through. Oh really? No yeah, kidding. I've seen a, a bunch of parts of it. It's but. a Spielberg movie, so I don't think you can go too bad with it. Yeah. But great, amazing <clears throat> set work in that movie. Oh my God, the sets oh, yeah. are ten out of ten. But anyway, uh, Hook I still like. Um, Super Mario Brothers the movie is a bad movie, but I love it. Yeah. Um. I have fun watching that. Dick Tracy, I still have fun watching. Um, Rocketeer, I still like. Uh, you know, a lot of the cartoons I watched when I was younger, not not didn't hold up so much. But Space Jam was like, I couldn't do it. I tried rewatching The Mask recently, mm. and that movie is fucking weird because I was yeah. like. It's funny to think about it now, how he's, like, a nice guy and everyone treats him like shit. Yeah. But then he dons a fedora and becomes so epic. Oh, that no. That it just becomes undeniable. That's, like, the wrong message. <laughs> Don't send that message. One last pickle fry. Oh, fuck. I just realized I have, like, a fucking pile of trash here. Because I didn't have my glasses on. Oh, that last fry was... That was one of mine. Ooh. That was spicy. I told you. Well, I, I feel like the rest of mine weren't, but some of them... You you had me try that one. It wasn't. Yeah. But that one was. Yeah. And then like this one They mix them up. This was the spiciest one by far. Wow. That's weird. That was really weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, do I want the rest of Johnny's shake? No. Johnny, dump it out. It's pretty melted. That's how I like it, though. Uh, I like it melted. I don't like shakes that are, like, hard to suck through the straw. Yeah. I've never liked that. No. For me, the perfect is a little melty. You don't want to go full melty. Yeah. Too much of anything is bad. But, just give me, you know, it's a little, it's a little melty. Yeah. Didn't I just put my, I just put it through my straw. You got your juice straw. No, I can't have, No. Okay. No, I can't have that. Why'd you even pick it up? Oh, Son of a bitch. Yeah, Mountain Dew. That'll be much better. <laughs> Stealthy, it's green. Neon green. Okay. Rocco, I saw Fast 9 based on your impressions. Really? I don't know if that... I mean, I don't remember what all I said, but... Can't believe Ava 3.0 and 1.0 is in a month. Ooh. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, Toy Story is one that held oh, that's up. Great. I agree. Toy, yeah. Story, Toy Story is still a great movie. Yeah, yeah. Toy Story. Um, yeah. What cartoons are still good? I think oh, a lot uh, of the Disney ones are are okay. Yeah. Um, you know, like Lion King, I still think is a yeah. great animated movie. Um, you know, the later ones. Eh, you know, I'm not I'm not racing to watch Brother Bear anytime soon. But mm-hmm. any of those Ralph Bakshi movies are still good. <laughs> Did he do... Uh, uh, you can still jerk off to him. Yeah. Did he no, do, I don't know. Uh, didn't, it wasn't, didn't he do a lot of lewd stuff with that? What's the Bible Goes West shit? Is that him? No, that's not Ralph Bakshi. No. That's uh, oh, uh, R- Rupert Murdoch or whatever the hell guy's name. <laughs> Who was it? Uh, I did, did he do All Logs Go to Heaven as well? Yeah. Don, yeah. Don Bluth? Don yeah, Bluth. Don Bluth. Okay. I get them confused. I meant Don Bluth. Yeah, John, Ralph Bakshi did Cool World and yeah. Fr- Fritz the Cat. And yeah. And uh, he did the fucking... That, that game that's like... Bigly game. Don Bluth did uh, dra- Dragon's Lair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool World. I remember Cool World came out and all... This was every kid in my school when Cool World came out. Are you guys going to see Cool World? No, I don't I don't think... I mean, that would be me. I was like, I don't think so. You know, I heard the guy... 
does sex with the cartoon. <laughs> like they kept talking yeah. like he had he have a heart. Yeah, he turned into hearts as soon as he said that. Like, okay, he does it with the cartoon. <laughs> the, him, him in that cartoon. Do it. Yeah. And like, like that's how they talked about it. And yeah. I was just like, yeah, I don't really want to see it. Didn't even know what that meant when I was a kid. So I just like, saw a cartoon no. and I'm like, I want to see Cool War. My parents are like, nah. Well, I thought I thought it was cool that it was that it was like live action and cartoon. Yeah. You know, Roger Rabbit was like incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that just uh, got a 4K Blu-ray oh. announced, I think. Okay. But it's funny that movie. That's one of the few live action movies that is already 4K on Disney Plus. Oh really? Um, yeah, I was I was surprised when I saw it. I was like, what? Um, I, oh, Howard the Duck just came out in 4K. Oh. Just got that. Oh. So, yeah. I, HD I, won't do anymore. Now it's got to be Howard the Duck in 4K. <laughs> What's that? What I once came home from school and turned on the TV, and the, the sex scene from Cool World was just playing. And it was on the... Well, I haven't seen it. Does he actually Does he act- do it? I, it was like... Yeah. You the, see it go all the way in? No, yeah, <laughs> dude. Full <laughs> penetration. Uh, I All I remember is, like, it keeps cutting to her, and it gets, like, really, like... Uh, Abstract, like it's her going, like, oh, oh, oh and it's like no. weird, anim- like, like cartoon. Oh, no. uh, I don't recall, but I, I remember that being on, and I was like, what the fuck is this? And I thought that was just a weird channel that plays weird porn, yeah. So I'd always check it, and it would never be, th- it would always be like NASCAR <laughs> or some shit. Uh, NASCAR, <laughs> damn, it was called like the Speed Channel. I don't know if anyone has that, Speed. yeah, 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 they just played Cool World, sure, was, sure wasn't the Spice Channel. I wish. <laughs> Still love Yellow Submarine. Did you guys ever see Yellow Submarine, the Beatles no. animated thing? Uh, I dig it. Um, it's like it's kind of trippy, fits their aesthetic. I don't know if you know this, but the Beatles. <coughs> I'm like wheezing after that meal. That meal aged <laughs> aged me twenty years. Yeah. So. Um, the Beatles don't voice themselves in that movie. Oh. There's a few exclusive songs that were in the movie, and they're kind of weird, and it's because the Beatles were told, yeah, we have a deal to do an animated movie. We need to deliver on that deal. Yeah. Mm. And the Beatles were like, ugh, because there was a Beatles cartoon on TV. Mm. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. No. no. It's shitty. It's like <laughs> shit Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Where, oh, we're the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, and the Beatles were like, we hate this shit. We don't want to make this shit. Oh, but you still have a deal to do an animated movie. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Well, we're not going to voice our characters. We'll we'll give them a few songs, and they kind of gave them scraps. They gave them a few kind of weird weird tracks, mm-hmm. whatever they weren't using. <clears throat> and then they saw footage of the movie, and that movie does not go the Hanna Barbera route. It's very like kind of psychedelic a little bit, you yeah. know, trippy visuals, you know, of all the stuff, yeah. whatever. And John Lennon saw it and was like, "Shit, this is actually cool." Damn, we, you know they just assumed there yeah, was yeah. going to be Hanna Barbera bullshit, and they were like, "Oh, you're actually like making kind of a cool movie here, yeah." yeah. And so it was like they had already recorded everything, all done and everything, and they were like, "Damn, we would have done the voices if we knew it was going to be like if I knew it was something good, I would have gotten more involved." Yeah. So they were like, "What? How do we make this right? Like, we feel bad that we just said like fuck off. Mm. How do we make it right?" And they were like, "Well." Do like a cool outro or something. So they, they they show up live action at the end of the movie. Hey, whoa, what was that? Whoa, I think I saw Blue Meanie in the vicinity of this theater. Like they're at the end. That was their try to. They tried to like, okay. like all right, let's show our faces and yeah, try to do something because yeah. they felt really bad that they that they kind of abandoned it. So anyway, I always thought oh, that was cool. kind of interesting. So if you ever see that movie and the Beatles show up randomly at the end, you know why they is, felt bad. Is it people just like? Pretend, like during the animation stuff, pretending to be the Beatles, like yes, like it's just voice, <laughs> voice, it's voice actors talking, you know, like that. It is. This guy watched Yellow Submarine on Shrooms. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. There's a lot of plot. You need to be yeah. stone cold sober. <laughs> I know. Beatles wouldn't there, do that. There is literally. <laughs> yeah. Followed by example, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is literally a scene in that movie where on the screen it says. Enter troops now. <laughs> <laughs> Pop them in. <laughs> Pop them in. Um, where it literally says on screen, a person's life is made of, I forget how many. I, I, my math is probably going to be wrong. A human's life is made out of 5,500,000 minutes mm. yeah. or something. And then it says, but a minute is a long time. Yeah. Let's experience that. 
and it literally counts through a minute. <laughs> like it used trippy animation. One, two, three, through sixty. Uh, whatever and it and, and that's the point it shows you it's like see you think life is short but you could savor it but that was just one minute and it felt like an hour like it does that in the movie it's like who would do that in a movie like like doesn't this feel long like like you're ruining this no wonder they didn't want to participate in it but anyway but it ends up just making it I don't know any other movie that does that shit it's yeah. just it's fun it's fun it, guys that's rent that's in a year right yeah. 525,000 Six hundred minutes. minutes. Yeah, I don't remember the name of or the number of how many minutes. Hundred billion. Rocco, let's start a campaign and change the lexicon by referring to No, I don't know what you're saying, but no. What's everyone's favorite rent song? Go ahead. Uh, La Vie Boheme. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. What is it? Uh, which one's uh, what you own? What you own? What you owe? What you own? You're what you own. Uh, We're you, living in America. Yeah, that's at the class. end of the millennium. What's that? What about that one? Uh, that, that rules. I love that song. Oh, okay. I thought you said it I sucks. Think, I was about to. I think it is. You are what you, you own. own. You're what you own. Yeah. You're what you own. Kevin, go ahead. Uh, I guess that. Hell the yeah. one about the minutes. You haven't seen a <laughs> fucking thing. No, I haven't. I haven't seen Rent. My dad wow. was obsessed with Rent when I was a kid. He's yeah. seen it like 20 times on Broadway. Re- really? On Broadway? Yeah, I've seen it wow. like, I saw it like four times. <laughs> really? So it's like really nostalgic for me. But uh, I see me, me everywhere. Angel's, Angel's voice. voice is what uh, in my ear. <laughs> uh, I heard the soundtrack uh that was the obsession of every kid in my theater oh yeah that's a big theater all four years of high school where where i met Derek and sean and all that (laughs) backstage it was permanently rent yeah and then in 10th grade there was a guy who had just come back from his mormon mission and he said you know i discovered this great man do you mind if we pause right for a minute and I'll play it for you? Yeah, They're yeah. called the Aquabats. Oh, These fuck. guys are a lot of fun. <laughs> and he played Giant Robot Birdhead. Oh, fuck. And I was like, keep playing this album. Keep playing yeah, this. Yeah. And I that was I fell in love. Uh, I was hoping it'd be the hearts when I said that. Uh, but uh but but it was either that it was either the floating eye of death by the Aquabats or Rent. The whole high school four years backstage. Damn. It was those. And then, but I still never saw the show. And it was when we graduated, it was coming to San Diego. Okay. Oh. And that, and and we was like, you know what? We're all graduating. Let's go see Rent, though, this summer after we graduate. Yeah. And so we all got tickets. Uh, we had friends who, you know the thing, I don't know if you guys know this, maybe you already do, but, but the show Rent, they've had a tradition where people who <laughs> camp out overnight. Yeah. They will. They get dibs on the front row tickets. Oh. Like they they sell the tickets online. Yeah. yeah but yeah. that is the thing with rent. I think I want to say Jonathan Larson started. Like that was yeah. from him. Yeah, like so. hey, sell them however, but the people who wait outside should always be the ones that get the front yeah. tickets. And so I think that's an ongoing tradition. So my friends did that. I wanted to join them, and I think at that time, either I didn't have a car, maybe I wasn't driving yet, or something. Yeah. I, the logistics were too hard. So I didn't do it, but I got there in the morning and my friends had been there all night and they were like, we got all front row tickets. I was like, hell yeah. So I got to see it in San Diego. I was front row center and I thought it was okay. Uh, I'm not, I didn't dislike it. I thought the music was the star. You know, that's what I had heard all those years. Yeah. When Once I actually saw the show, I'm like, well, the music's still great. There you know? was, like, no other... I mean, there was, like, Fan of the Opera and stuff, but, like, there was no other, like, musicals that sounded like that at the time. So exactly. So, it's, like, it's super impressive. Yeah. Every time I do go back yeah. to it, like, it does choke me up. But it, yeah. it is funny, like, they make the joke in fucking Team America World Police that everyone has AIDS in that. Play. Yeah, yeah. And it is funny, like, almost every character does. Sure, but um, that, that was... That was the... Uh, an, an issue at the time, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was like, uh, yeah. So I don't... I, I think it's dated in the way that all that is done or whatever. There's a lot that maybe is, you know, whatever. But I don't know. There was a snapshot of a thought at a moment. Yeah. So to me, I'm kind of like, <laughs> all right. 
it's really funny, like, knowing what areas of New York they're in. Yeah. Because, like, they're talking about, oh, we're in the slums, blah, blah, blah. It's, like, yeah. areas that are so fucking nice right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Things have come around. They're, like, we're on Alphabet City. What the fuck? It's, like, bro, I know where that is. There's a Starbucks yeah, uh, yeah. right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I still enjoyed it, but re- the music was the was the best oh, part. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much I like the story side of it, but the music is good. And, and I actually, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I really liked then uh, three years later after I had seen it in 2002 you know, yeah. or so they put the movie out oh I love the movie and I really enjoyed it yeah. because Kevin it's directed by Chris Columbus who yeah. did Home Alone yeah. so you know he's making sure it looks real Christmassy in yeah. certain parts you could tell he's behind the camera and his whole mandate with the movie they kept wanting to make the movie with oh we're gonna have Mark is going to be Justin Timberlake. Yeah. And we're going to get this. They were going to get all these famous dudes in Hollywood. And uh, and Chris Columbus is like, nah, get the Broadway people. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, what? And he's like, yeah, this has a beloved thing. Like, get the Broadway people. Um, and that's what they did. Like, the cool. most of the most yeah. of the cast. Yeah, I think it's all of them except for Mimi, which was... Uh, I think... What's her name? And I will say, this exposes an unfortunate side of Hollywood. Yeah. I feel like they replaced all the women. No, because it was, uh, what's her name? Oh, 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 Adina Menzel yeah. was still there. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right, you're right. I thought it was it, all of them. I think it was just Mimi it yeah. was with, uh, what's her name? Rosaria Dawson. Yeah. There might have been one more recasting, but you're right, Adina yeah. Menzel was in there. And then Adina Menzel did some cartoon, I don't yeah, know, what Frozen the fuck? or something. I don't, yeah. I don't think that nobody, went anywhere. Nobody saw it. What did John Travolta call her? When he couldn't say uh, her name. Adele Dazeem. <laughs> Did you ever see that, Kevin? Yeah. And, and, and our next performance, Adele Dazeem. <laughs> is, is everything okay? That was, what was that? I don't know. That was weird. He he does it so confidently, which is what always makes me laugh. <laughs> He's like, Adele Dazeem. And they were definitely, I, I can half see the chat. I think Rachel was talking about that they're too old to play the characters. Yeah, fuck it. I still loved it. It yeah, was still too. like, it was like, yeah, they're too old for those roles, kind of, but it was like, it's already, I'm look, I'm already extending my, my, uh, what do you oh. tell Like, they're already singing in public. Like, I've already given up on it being real, that I didn't yeah, like yeah, that it was yeah, that. Yeah. What, were, what were you saying? No, I, I was trying to remember if, uh, something happened to the chick who played Mimi. Yeah, I didn't. Have, I, I I thought if they had waited longer, yeah. it, it would have been weird. But whenever I go back to it, I'm like, I think it's fine. I the like, movie? Yeah, yeah, like the casting. It's, one. Yeah, and I think the movie is corny, but I like it. Like I like yeah. that level of corny. It's a musical, and I like that they made it corny. I yeah, that I don't know. To me, there's certain things I like corny. To me, Star Wars can should be corny. Yeah, I remember when they were showing previews of of of. Uh, I'm not going to get into Star Wars here, but <laughs> but when they showed a preview of episode one before it had come out, yeah. and people were going, oh, this dialogue, and it was Obi-Wan and, and Qui-Gon in the hallway. Are you, are you re- Qui-Gon, are you really going to violate the treaty? I will do what I must, Obi-Wan. And everyone is like, oh, it's so corny. I'm like, yeah, good. This should, this should be fucking corny. It's Star <laughs> Wars. Like, yeah, they're space aliens. And, you know, it's like, Rent is something where I felt like, yeah, yeah you're good. I'm a New Yorker. Fears my life. <laughs> you know, like they're all laughing about it, and it's like that's not funny at all. And yeah. it's whatever, it's corny. <laughs> uh, what was that thing that they always do on like? Is it NBC where they do like a musical live every year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fox tried to get in on that too. Yeah, they did Rent last time, and it, that fucked me up. I like popped it on. I'm like, haha, this will be silly. And then by the end, I'm like in tears. Like, oh, oh shit. Which one was it? Fox did when they got in on it. They did a Christmas Story live, but then they did something else too. Um, I remember there's, there's uh, all I know is there's one that they did recently on Fox, and it got so fucked up they just aired the dress rehearsal. <laughs> Does anyone know what it was? Like, I think like it was somebody, rent. somebody, it might have been. They, yeah, someone the, the, broke their leg. Yeah, it was rent. Oh, it was rent. Yeah. This guy yeah. plays Mark, and he he did had to do Glory like yeah. sitting down. Oh wow. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah. The guy, he, seriously, he, he, I think it was a total break. Yeah. Huh? Oh fuck! He broke a leg. Yeah. Somebody said break a leg. Remember when Gallagher broke his arm and he had to have somebody else do the sledgematic stuff? That Did he? Special. Yeah. <gasps> oh there's, yeah. There's one special where he has an assistant come out and do all the sledgematic stuff because he broke his You're arm. You're right. I totally forgot about that. 
dude, Gallagher really shows you how society was at at that point in time. Like, yeah. we were all just down to see a dude hit a fucking watermelon. <laughs> yeah. Watermelon smash. And he was, like, selling, sh- like, oh, he theaters was out. Crowds. I loved Gallagher growing up. Um, bring back Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Oh, I saw that. Did you really? Yeah. What? I've always been fascinated <laughs> by it. it. You know about that, Kevin? No. They did a Spider-Man Broadway show. Yeah. And it was it. so fucked up. <laughs> uh, seriously, like, rehearsal went wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay, they fixed it. Uh, opening night, uh, they had to stop halfway. All the, I mean, it was such a problem show Is that after... Like, yeah, everything was breaking. Really yeah, how long did it go? Like, uh, months. And then they were like, fuck it, the, never mind. Yeah, and they it, ended it. <laughs> All the actors were, like, breaking legs oh, yeah. doing the, the wire work. And then they... Yeah, sh- she was flinging around, you know. They showed it in uh, to the reviewers, and it got, like, critically panned. They are like, yeah. this oh, fucking sucks. It's so like they're th- breaking all their bones. Yeah. And, uh, like, all the music was written by U2. Uh, U2, yeah. Uh, U2. yeah. And so they rewrote everything. I saw the rewritten version. It was okay. Yeah. But they kept touting halfway through. They're like, we have a new villain that's just exclusive to the play. And its name was Swiss Miss. And it was <laughs> it was this dude with, like, knives for hands. The host, the host that's terrible. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's not good. I'll try to find a photo. <laughs> Um, and then it was directed by Julie Taymor, right? I don't even know. Huge director, and then she walked off. She was like, I, I cannot do this anymore. This is... <laughs> oh, okay. Swiss Miss. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, this is what the Green Goblin looked like. Oh. <laughs> All right. He looks like Gore. He does look like Gore. That was the Green Goblin. And, uh... No. Hold on, guys. That, that was Swiss Miss. There you go. There you go. That place sucked. Yeah, so they, they closed that up. <laughs> but you can still find... Like, I went to a, a, a record store a couple weeks ago, and they still have used copies of the soundtrack. Like, they released a soundtrack for a play that really no one ever got to see. Turn Off the Dark. What, what kind of name is Turn Off the Fuck Dark? Fuck that. Turn, uh, turn Off the Dark. <laughs> Would you mind turning off the dark for me? <laughs> People say that Spongebob musical is good. I heard that too. Yeah. I heard the music is really well done. I've heard one song from it. I go, okay, that's kind of catchy. Yeah, they might be oh, giants. Really? It popped one. up on a thing. And I'm like, okay. Was I, it the Squidward song? I don't remember. Okay. I'm it, still, it was like a year or so ago. I'm still dying to see, and I still have it, The Book of Mormon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wanted to see Coast that. Still have it. Yeah, I still have it. Um, and also, uh, I uh, in the UK, I don't know if it's come here. I don't think it has. But, yeah. Uh, there's a Back to the Future musical. Ooh, really? It's a full fledged like Bob Gale produced it. Oh, like cool. he worked on it, um, and uh, for some reason it, it, they signed a deal for it to be in the UK first, and then last year happened. But I don't know if that's coming here or what. But it's actually got some not not huge but fairly big actors in it. Like the guy who plays uh, Doc Brown has been it was in a was in like the West Wing or something like oh, that. I don't know. Really? It's like. A good actor, yeah, and uh, they got like, you know, young hip British kid to be Marty, and yeah. but anyway, I heard good stuff, and it, it's like, okay, bring that here, I'll see cool. it. This is an issue I've had with Broadway plays recently. They've all just been like other franchises. Yeah, that's a little dangerous. Yeah, and I like Back to the Future, but even when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'd rather see an original. Like thing. that yeah. fucking Beetlejuice one is like killing it. And I'm like, yeah. can we do it like something new? Or? Yeah, that, I, I agree. That's what I would rather see. Um, Frankenstein musical. There's a Frankenstein young, musical. young Frankenstein. Oh. Yeah, most of Broadway now is movie the musical. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see. Yeah, Mean yeah. Girls. Mean Girls was big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I don't want to they see. Did that a Heather's either. one too? Yeah, I'm good. Do an original thing. It's hard. I, I don't think Broadway is like the powerhouse it once was. Really? Think I think so? it's just old people, and yeah. like, yeah. that's about it. I'd love to see. I've still, ne- I've never seen a Broadway show. I'd love to. Really? Yeah. Never. I only first time I went to New York was that tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were right over there when we yeah. went to Times Square. Yeah. yeah. Wish I would have bought a ticket for something. I almost went once. There was one time I was like, I'm just gonna go all in, and st- I was like, dude, I want to stay. I want to stay at the Plaza Hotel where Kevin McAllister yeah. <laughs> stayed. I want to stay there and go see, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And I just, it was like expensive, and I didn't. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I've always wanted to. Um, uh, 
I know I know a bunch of people that specifically went there just for Hamilton. Yeah, because yeah. they got really good tickets to that. That was a new and uh, yeah, original. Yeah, remember. that yeah, was a new thing. And and, and guess what? Tore the, up the fucking world. The chance or the yeah, they took a chance and it paid off because yeah. they probably made more money on that than anything. Yeah. Ever. yeah. Matt Stone and Trey Parker talk about that with with Book of Mormon. They're oh, like, yeah. we've made more from this than any fucking movie we've Damn. ever done. Yeah. Like they, you know, with movies, well, you got to do this and the worldwide distribution. Whatever. They were like, this, we produced the show, we did it here, and I mean, the price of those tickets, and they get most of it. Yeah. I mean, it's like that's insane. Fuck. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm sure Hamilton paid off. Oh yeah. Are we? Uh, do you guys like Hamilton or I what? Love Where it. you? I've never I seen it. I oh, you never recently. seen it again. Just put it on. On Disney Plus. I didn't. I I really enjoyed it. I saw it for the first time when it went up. Really enjoyed it. Didn't think I would watch it again. I'm like, I think I'm good. I want. I'm just working. I put it on. <laughs> like I, just, I, I put it on. I've watched it a few times. Someone's asking about the Green Day musical. I have this thing where uh, I don't condone this, but people film a lot of musicals and just throw them on Vimeo. Yeah. So I watched that. It was fucking horrendous. Oh, bad. really? Yeah, it's like all uh, I saw was one when, uh, when the, on holiday. Yeah, and that's yeah. all. And oh. I was like, I can't watch the rest of this. Dude, I watched the No Effects musical too. That was fucking. <laughs> that was no Thank effects you. Musical. Yeah. yeah, it's very similar to American Idiot too. They're both like about te- like drug, yeah. drugged out teens. Oh, cool. Thank you, Lena Reno, oh, for the for the sub. You didn't spill any sauce this time. No, I'm, no. I'm dude. I was so not careful. Too late, though. Yeah, yeah. It's not too late. Night's not over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that shake is still sitting there. Yeah, so, I took a sip. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would. I might too. If you liked Hamilton, check out In the Heights. Was that's, that the Hamilton come back or something? It's, <laughs> I think Lin Manuel Miranda. Oh, that's, yeah, his that's his next movie, thing. Yeah. yeah, that's right. It's it's on uh, HBO Max, I think, right now. Yeah. Thank you, Lump Lump Wizard, for your sub. Check out Cats. Okay. Sure. I've tried. Did, has anyone seen the movie? No. I have. Oh, really? Yeah. You watch the whole thing? Yeah, it was garbage. <laughs> really? I think anything Cats musical uh, related sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I think the music sucks. I think, like... I think I, the animal sucks, I'll I, say. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't see the point of that. Yeah. Uh, musical. You didn't like Mr. Chink, Chink, Chim, no. Chimbleshanks? No, or Mr. Mistopheles or whatever. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Everything I, remember, I hear from this, I'm like, this sounds so I, I remember being in school... Like middle school, and one of my teachers was so into it, she played the music for us. And back then, I'm like, "What is this shit? I don't get this." And and it's been like that forever. And now, like... <laughs> there's a great documentary about making the Green Day musical. No, I'm good. Oh, I've seen that. It was on Netflix. It's fucking boring. Really? It's okay. Ricky Ticky Tavi, yeah, I'm a big Ricky Ticky Tavi <laughs> fan. That guy got he kills a snake, I think, at one point. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Is Duke the only good Green Day album? I didn't like any of them. I have what? never liked Not Green Day. Nimrod? You didn't like? There was someone once when in, in high school when they were playing Green Day really loud in a class, and I went in to tell him to turn it down. I walked in and I said, "I never liked Green Day," and he would blow me. Like, he took it so <laughs> aggressively that I was like, oh, I'm never talking to this. I love their first two albums, uh, t- Smooth Out Slappy Hours and Kerplunk. Uh, Dookie's pretty good. I like American Idiot. It's, like, very much a snapshot of the time, but I think it's a fun album. Uh, I like Warning. That's about it. Also, Blow Me! Blow Me! <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Um, yeah, I was never a, a Green Day person. Um, Offspring I was into. You know, I'm talking oh, stuff yeah. at that time. I was into that. Yeah. And then Blink-182, I was a no-go at first. Oh, dude. And then and then, uh, Enema of the State came out, and I'm like, mm, yeah. kind of like a couple of these songs, <laughs> but I still deny you. Yeah. And then... So alive. And then Take Off Your Pants and Jacket came out, and that one I just bought and listened to. Yeah. Then I was like, ah, you got me. Yeah, I fuck it. <laughs> Have you heard about Mark Hoppus? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. really sad. It's really sad. Didn't we see him at Galaxy's Edge? Mark Hoppus? One of the members of Blink 182 we saw at Galaxy's Edge. 
You it it out, was like, him. It was Mark Hoppus. That's, that's I that. think it was him. Yeah, pretty sure it was him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure that's who it was. Because it yeah. wouldn't have been... I never saw Travis. No. Not Tom DeLong. No, it was definitely Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. It, it was, was. Like, that's Mark Hoppus, yep. dude. It was Mark Hoppus, yep. Yeah. Uh, the Fuse offices are right by the train I would take to New Jersey. And I would always see him outside, like, chilling. Really? When he had the, his show on Fuse. Oh. I know uh, people... I know when I was in high school, my friends used to always see him at the Cheesecake Factory. Oh. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> you guess he goes here a lot or something. <laughs> Um, I know nothing about Chainsaw Man, but I'll, I'll, I'll watch the new show. Yeah, what is... I don't know anything about it, but people were telling me, oh, that's going to be big. That's going to be big. I don't know anything about it. Someone sent us a copy of the manga. I think we have it oh, upstairs. Okay. Rocker, you see so many people at Disney. Did you see Aaron Paul at Haunted Mansion? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. see at least one celebrity maybe every time I go, I think. I really okay. do. I always do. Um, but yeah, Aaron Paul was super nice because we didn't say a word to him. He, he brought a group. What he was doing was, it was during the finale of Breaking Bad. I think, yeah. did the final one just air? Or it was about, it was to, about air? to air? or something. Like yeah, that. I think yeah. only the second to last one had yeah. aired or something. And we were there. And what he did was he, uh, I think it was for, Jer- for charity, he invited fans to go to Disneyland with him. He was like, yeah. yo, pay this thing and I'll give you a, 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 an autograph script, you know, oh. if you pay for this yeah. charity thing. Uh, and then he threw in, like, by the way, we'll go to Disneyland. Come on. And so he invited fans to go to Disneyland. So he had a small group with them, and they cut in front of us. We were waiting for the Haunted Mansion, got up to the front, and then they went, stop right here. And they brought everyone in, and he was chilling at the front door as they let everyone in. Yeah. And then he, uh, the whole time, I'm like, do I say hi? Eh, yeah. eh, he's doing something. He turned to us and said hi. Yeah. He oh, turned sure. to us and was like, hey, thanks. You know, like, kind of kind of waving us, like, thanks for letting us do, you yeah, know, like, yeah. hey, you know, hey. And it was like, hey. Good to see you. You know, so they, they were in yeah. Haunted Mansion in front of us. They, yeah. That was really cool. So, nice guy. Didn't even have to say hi. He did it. <laughs> I saw Josh Homme next to the Nemo subs at Disneyland. That's cool. No shit. Did he, uh, did he kick the submarine, like, right in the periscope? <laughs> Just realized the jerk you're making. <laughs> First of all, the Paris go, oh, shit, my <laughs> nose. I saw, it's like, why did I do that? I, don't, I saw <laughs> Captain O'Hara and Martin oh, Short at Disneyland. That's fucking awesome. That's because awesome. Because they were doing... Clifford 2? No, um, Frank and Weenie was about to come out, and I think yeah. they both did voices for Yeah, them. they did. And so yeah. they were both... They, they must have done promos earlier, yeah. and they were just at Disneyland. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck. Dude. Well, these are both people I grew up watching. So. Love them. Yeah. Um, What's the lamest celeb we've seen at Disney? Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Lamest celeb. I'm trying to think. I don't see a lot of celebrities. In New York, I would see Janine Groffalo like every fucking week. Really? Like, yeah, she was just always walking around. <laughs> Someone said Mitt Romney. Oh, oh, the lamest celebrity. I already know mine. Oh, yeah. I don't okay. know if you have an answer. What were you I don't, doing? I don't. Oh, uh, uh, Chris Jenner and, and like oh. Ka- Kanye's kids were oh, there. Yeah. She brought their kid, the, uh, the, the Kardashians and stuff were there at Disney when I was there oh, yeah. and I was in line for small world and they stopped it so that Chris Jenner could, could get the kids on there and, mm. and everything. And their security was so hostile and threatening like, I, I pull out my camera, and it was like, sir, I keep seeing you taking pictures, and I'm going to make you regret it. I'm going to make you regret it right oh here. If, you, if I see the camera one more time, you're going to be thrown out of here, and I'm going to put it in whatever. It was their own private people, yeah. like, talking about how they were going to beat me up if yeah. I did that. Yeah, so I put my Disney. So I put my phone away. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 fine. And I put it away. And then I was like, yeah, Disney wants that headline is someone got beat up in the minute. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. And I took a bunch of pictures. Yeah. I have it. I think we showed it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oops. I took a picture. Sorry. Anyway, that pissed me off. It's like, yo, we're all like in a chill vibe here. Yeah. And you're threatening. I mean, all these people I was in line with too were on the same page. They're like, yeah, they shouldn't be going up and down the small world line yeah. talking about how they're going to beat people up. Yeah. Like five year old taking pictures. They were like, yo, we're going to make you regret it. Yo, <laughs> yo, 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 we'll handle you right here, right now if you yo. take a picture. It was like, <laughs> Yeah, in front. Yeah, Mary Blair right over here is really a great place to beat someone up. <laughs> Fuck you. So yeah, that was the worst. Everything else totally positive. Uh, when when uh, Casey when he used to work at Disneyland, yeah. he uh, let me go into the uh, guest uh, like uh, I think he was in the Autopia area yeah. area, and I said hi to him, and then he was like, "You want to go in the Autopia?" I was like, well, "I wasn't planning on it, but 
if there's no wait, and he's like, no, I'll, I'll let you go through the uh, the back way where we have special guests go through. Yeah, shit. Okay, and so he, 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 okay, just go down there. He didn't follow me down. He's yeah. just like, go down there, and I'll see you later. Okay, and I went down there, and it was me and Penelope Cruz. Uh, yeah. She was there with her kid. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we were just standing. I was like, <laughs> what? Uh, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Um, so that happened uh i mean i could go on and on and on we see celebrities there all the time yeah. what makes me the saddest is that half the times i went to galaxy's edge i saw kobe yeah oh. kobe would be would we'd be there with this kid you know um and most times i saw celebrities nobody would say anything because i think everyone's on the same page you're yeah. they're there with their kids don't yeah. bother them but kobe was too big of a deal and people would be like you know Yo, yeah, MVP. mvp you know and he <laughs> never looked pissed or or shrug. he was always hey thanks yeah. yeah he was so friendly i would just watch him and he would just wave and smile yeah. he always smiled it was never like yeah yeah uh, you know it was a big smile thank you you know whatever total class act i was so impressed seriously i probably saw him like three times in and it was always cool. in galaxy's edge it was yeah. never like oh i saw him in fantasy land he was always super super kind to everybody Who else I've seen? Vincent D'Onofrio, I think I saw. Damn, that's awesome. He looked crazed, and I saw him in the bathroom. I was like, uh, not everyone's gonna get that. <laughs> yeah, Kevin asked for sure. You guys see Full Metal Jacket? Oh, yeah. have you guys seen? Have you seen yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kevin, what? Well, come back. Go watch it. Come back. Metal Jacket. Um, <laughs> you saw Vader once at Disney. Dude, at Galaxy's Edge. Nice, dude. Um. Is a celebrity you don't want to meet IRL? Uh, but I yeah. don't. Andy Dick. Yeah. I, I've heard, I've yeah, heard I've heard never heard good stuff. Everybody who lives in LA has an <laughs> awful yeah. Andy yeah. Dick story. Because he's always around in LA and it's the worst. Uh, I don't want to meet There was a Harmon Town where uh, I forgot the guy who said the story. Uh, but he said he was in a car with him and he was just kept lowering the window and yelling the N word. Oh, just good. Full blast. And he was That's like, good. I don't know what to do. Great. Terrific. Um, do you, you don't, do you don't want to meet them? Crazy. Um, yeah. um, as much as... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Do I know. don't want to say. There's one in my head that went, was first to come to mind. But I'm, I want to try to swing something where maybe it happens. So Yeah, so don't say it. I'm not going to say case. it, just in case it does happen. <laughs> I don't want it to happen, and then people go like, didn't you say you didn't want to meet yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Seth Green. Seth Green. That's not bad. Mitt Romney. I already met him. I already met him. Uh, we locked eyes at the gas station. <laughs> Who's the dude from uh, Independence? Oh, Randy Quaid. I wouldn't want to meet Randy Quaid. Yeah, yeah, no. He, he's, uh, yeah, he, he saved the U.S. already. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Also Mel Gibson, maybe. Yeah, that's a pass. Bill Gates because he's a geek nerd. That's a good yeah. point. He, I think he Jared is. From Subway. Yeah, give us twirly. Yeah, Jared from Subway. I don't want to meet him. Definitely not. Some are Alex Jones, but like I would love to have a conversation with Alex Jones. Yeah, you'd. I think you'd at least get a funny story. Yeah, you'd be like, oh, he fucking told me about the fucking space monsters. Yeah, even if you mocked the shit out of yeah. him, you'd, you'd at least have a story. Yeah. OJ Simpson. <laughs> no, I'd want to meet OJ Simpson because I would. I would make a. I would make a comment yeah. yeah I still I still love when they did like Dateline with him like you know 10 years later or whatever yeah. and they're and then he's like walking down Santa Monica Pier talking with them and a woman comes up are you OJ oh my gosh I'm always, can I shake your hand yeah oh I always want to shake hands with a murderer okay alright well uh, let's keep on with the murder like she sniped that oh interview my God. like she had people they, there were all kinds of people that just antagonized him like yeah I just want to oh yeah I just want to say hi to a murderer oh, okay John Voight? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, John Voight? Yeah. He doesn't register on anything. Yeah. yeah. He's... Yeah. Eric Andre has already met Alex Jones. Yeah, I saw that yeah, video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pete Davidson. Yeah, no thanks on that. Yeah, no way. Uh, maybe Matt Mickelson. That'd be cool. Mm. Tequila Tequila? Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, I, no, I want to know what she's up to now. Yeah. 
Didn't she say she did it like a spirit bomb in real life or something? <laughs> Didn't is there something like that? <laughs> I love when people have spirals where they say the crazy. Yeah, shit. I th- I swear she said that at one point. Like I I just did a real spirit bomb. <laughs> that she said something like that. that I don't chick, remember what it was. Trisha Paytas once said that she yeah. uh, identifies as a chicken nugget, and that uh, always makes me laugh. Oh shit! Do you need a plug here? Uh, no, 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 no. It would honestly, it's got a long time left. Oh. I just want to make sure it didn't like pause the stream. But you know, I didn't think, imagine we we're gonna go on forever anyway. So we'll be fine. Are we still on? Are we still on, guys? I'm scared because anytime something pops up, it's like, yeah. oh, your stream's over. I think we would have seen F's in the chat though. Yeah. We still out here. We're still here. We're good. Cool. Nah. A lot of people are saying nah. Oh, oh we're not live, guys. Fuck. Feel free to say whatever. Uh, oh, we can say whatever. I think Coke is better than Pepsi. Oh, fuck. Dude, a lot of drama on Twitter right now. I'm seeing a lot of turmoil because all these theater... Dude, some of the arc lights in LA are getting bought by Regal. Oh, no, no. And hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Our, our local theaters are all Regal. Yeah. I've, had, I've had a pretty good experience with Regal, yeah. but they did two things wrong. One is as of around, I want to say when the last Star Wars came out, they started doing like 40 fucking minutes of trailers before their movie. Like, you guys have to chill on the trailers. Yeah. Okay, so that's one. But, you know, whatever. Life goes on. But they signed, over the course of COVID, they signed with Pepsi instead of Coke. Oh. And there's people on Twitter, I've been seeing that, that's like, yo, I don't want to go to this theater anymore. Like, I always like having a cherry coke or you know whatever that was it for me now for me it was cherry in. coke now i gotta sneak in a, yeah. a cherry coke um the place the the one that we go to i'm not gonna give away locations but the one that we go to yeah. is right next to a place that has vanilla coke on tap. on tap oh, shit. so really i think that's my move now is yeah. like well you got pepsi so big trench coat there's my ticket ice cube in the pockets Ice cube, yeah, ice cubes. Then you got, ice cubes down the pants. You got a bag, a bag of vanilla coke in one, yep. up in the other, flattened so they don't know. And then you yep. build it in the. Theater. Yep, build the soda right there. <laughs> build the <a> soda. <laughs> yeah. Is there a bathroom around here? Uh, uh, here? So bad. I need, oh, great! You're in my car. Oh, great. Fuck. That's what I like to hear. You gotta piss in this. Room. No. Yeah. I know. I gotta piss too. There, you already got a free, free. Here you go. <laughs> That's oh, already filled up. Let's listen to that. Don't do that. Oh, what's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, man. No, do you have to go? Oh yeah. I mean, I can kind of hold it, but should we? Should we stop? Maybe I we mean, should. I'll run around the corner. I don't give a fuck. Well, but... where? Yeah, where else can you? I mean, this library—it's pretty much free reign. If they're not giving out books, you could piss wherever. <laughs> or, you know. Whatever. I mean, I'll do it. You could probably just go in the thing. Uh, I know that. That, it's open. Yeah. Oh, it's open. Yeah, they have it. You want to just run over there? Do and if you and if you have an issue, we'll speed off. All right, cool. I'll Is that check. Cool? Yeah. Okay. Back. Yeah, if at any point too, you, you know. You yeah, I may, I may do that too. Yeah. I'm not sure, but right this moment. Dude, let's leave. Yeah, let's leave. Dude, let's fucking take off. Yeah, like <laughs> Wouldn't that be so <laughs> sick if we're just not here anymore? <laughs> what if, yeah. What if we <laughs> park in a whole other spot or another area? <laughs> and just film his reaction. <laughs> okay, he's, he's not. Wait till he goes around yeah. the corner into the building. <laughs> Guys, if the, sometimes the stream does end if we move around a lot, so if it ends, I, I apologize. I think, but I think we're okay. I think if you just turn and then what? turn your car off. What do you mean, like to park behind me or something? Or what? Yeah, oh, that'd be hard to film though. Park where we parked when we first stopped here. Okay. Over there? Yeah. Okay. Just go down the street and you, you turn around and then park there. Guys, we are, by the way, this is all in studio. We're in the volume yeah. right now. This is how they did Mandalorian. You can just image oh, anything. Right, even right here? Yeah, is that, oh, that, that's okay. good right there, too. Yeah, I would actually, yeah, go down and then turn around and park on the other side. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope the bathrooms are open, because if not, we don't have time. We don't have much time. Oh, yeah. And he might be a quick pisser, I don't know. Yeah. 
That's true. You might super soaker that, that, that shit out of there and then come out. <laughs> super soaker that shit out of there. That's a great way to describe it. yet so I think he's good I think he's pissing okay. should I leave my lights on or turn I, them off I think you should turn them off okay because it'll definitely show like oh we're here am I parked on this am I parked okay or am I a little far oh you're good, you're good. okay okay so good on that yeah we're good should, on that should. Should I just turn off here? Let's see. Yeah, dude, we're now. We're that's like, okay, or should I just turn the car off? <laughs> I don't think we're using anything on the car right now. So. Yeah, so I could just turn it off. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm gonna crack the window. Now we're stealth. Yeah, crack the window. Uh, we'll or will they hear us? I'll crack this one. This one's away okay. from that side. You can crack yours if you want to. But... Okay. Just a little crack. He should turn off in a second. Flip, dude. He's gonna lose his shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't look, we're totally dark in the dark now. Well, th these will go off in a second. Yeah. Is Mega City War prank channel now? Well, it could be. Well, if, depending on how this goes. Okay. Oh, we're good now. Yeah, we're good. Oh, dude. Well, here I'll, I'll uh, just for a second. Just for a moment until we see him come back out. Or should I leave him off? You can do whatever you want. Yeah. We just gotta keep an eye on it. He's probably currently pissing. Oh, wait, wait. No, is that him over there? Yeah, he's coming. 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 He's Wait, what the fuck? Dude, you got fucking pranked, bro. Well, got pranked. Dude, <laughs> you didn't expect us to be over here. Nope. You didn't expect the door to be locked. Yeah, the well, door's locked, too. What the fuck? How do you I, like that? I opened the chat on my phone, and I started seeing it saying, like, oh, God, Johnny's going to be so pissed. <laughs> oh, God. Chat, you gave oh, us chat, up. you blew it. Chat. Chat, you you got to be cool next time. You <laughs> never know who's on the chat in the shitter. It could be anybody. It could be any one of us. How's the shitter be... situation? Oh, it's good. Yeah, what was the toilet like? There was like in three there? dudes in there, and they were At like... the same time? Yeah, they were all in there. No, there's three guys in the restaurant, they kept just talking about how good uh, banana milkshakes are. Oh. Fast, like, the <laughs> maybe, they're, maybe they're part of our community, yeah. you know? <laughs> okay, let's unlock the door for Johnny. Okay, hold on. I'm going to figure out how to do this now. Okay, the car has started. We can now unlock the door. Hell yeah. Damn, I really thought it was going to be funny. You were going to be searching for a car for a long time, and that would have been, been great. Yeah. In my head, I was like, they could have gone far. <laughs> and, yeah. like, I saw you, and I was like, is that Rocco? Like, I was really afraid that it was someone else. I was like, I think that's this one. Someone else stalking you, dude. Stalking your mom. Stalk, stalk, stalking your mom. Three dudes pissing. Has Rachel gotten a proper banana shake yet? By no. by proper you mean not proper? Yeah, because we fake ass we want <laughs> fake banana, yellow. Yeah, not chunks of banana. Not like oh, vanilla shake, and we freshly cut some uh, bananas. Yeah. that we grew. It. No, 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 yellow bullshit. That's what we want. When's the last time you did cocaine? Never, never, never. Damn. I once thought one of us could, you know, share a story. I once uh, edited for this dude, and uh, I went over his house later, and he's like, "Yo, you're my editor. Time, to I got cocaine for you." And I was like, "I'm good, man." What? He's like, for "No, no, real? yeah." He's like, "No, no, you're my editor, though. We got, you got, we got to do cocaine oh, together." No. And I was like, "For real, I'm good." <laughs> oh no. 
editor perks. Yeah, exactly. I do. I do laugh at when um, we had at our old studio, we had a fire inspection where a, yes. guy, a guy, they said, yo, tomorrow morning, a guy's coming in to uh, make sure the sprinklers are all good in your uh, studio. Okay. Uh-oh. Sounds good. And so I woke up early the next day, came in there. We had we had a set from the video that we shot the day before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was still a huge mess. And he's like, I need to get in there. And I'm like, yeah, the set's, that, that's, that whole area is a mess, but feel free to go wherever you need to go. And he's like, okay. And then he walked over. He kind of stood up on our desk for a minute to look at the thing. And he was looking around. He's like, yeah, you guys have fun here. <laughs> and he looked nervous. He was just like, you guys have a lot of fun here. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. No, all right. Yeah, you guys uh, have fun. <laughs> and then left. It was like, what was that all about? I think. And then I looked, yeah. and on the desk we had we had just shot our swatter knot video, <laughs> where the guy said he had energy powder, and we just made we had a mirror with l- tons oh of God. lines of cocaine on yeah. it. And a, and a rolled up dollar bill. Yeah, that was all there. there the I didn't realize because in my head it was like, yeah, we filmed in there, no big deal. And yeah, that was all the desk that he needed to get up on was covered in that. Yeah, and you can't explain it later. No, I didn't. It was like, oh, son of a bitch. I didn't even think about that. All day I was just like, what was he talking about? And then we, I walked over there. It was like, oh my God, there was <laughs> so much. He kept going, you guys have fun here. You guys have a lot of fun, I see. You got that snow. No, the correct term is you got that snowman. Yeah. I remember see, that was a shirt I saw at Disneyland once. Um, I got that snowman. That was a great shirt. When I was a kid, I would always see people on, uh, was it Young Jeezy who had that fucking snowman guy? I'm talking about mm. Young Jeezy. No, I don't know. Any Young Jeezy heads in the chat? Any Jeezy heads out there? Who's a big Jeezy nut? Jeezers. Yeah, Jeezers. Jeez nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I always saw kids with a fucking snowman. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, right? That's an ugly shirt. Dude. Young Jeezy snowman. Mm. Only only young Jeezys know that. <laughs> yes, oh my god. That's cool. Drawing an MS Paint probably. What's the next shirt that we make everyone buy? Because we did Meatheads. Oh, yeah, Meatheads. Yeah. Everybody get their Meatheads shirt? Yeah. Any Meatheads in the chat? Yeah. What would... what? I don't know. Beef and Bun? I don't know. If Beef and Bun sells shirts, then we'll get them. But uh, right now, they're MIA. Thoughts on Luca? Did you guys see Luca? I didn't, I didn't see, see it. Luca, no. I liked it. I thought it was great. Come and go. Sock pens. Thank, thank, thank. It's Earth Crisis actor for a sub gift. Cool. Spider Man, turn off the dark. Johnny, tell him about Wawa. They've been. Yeah, Wawa. I've been, rules. I've been to Wawa multiple yeah, times. Yeah, Wawa. Wawa owns. I've been to, like, kind of rundown Wawas, and I've been to the fancy Wawas. Yeah. Everything. I went to that one, the one next to the Liberty Bell or yeah, whatever. That, that one was amazing. Wall I'd ever that, seen. that one kicked like ass. pillars and marble. And, oh, it was great. Yeah. Do you guys have Bigfoot gas stations? No, what the hell is that? No, it's a Bigfoot gas station. Buy ticks for the tour tomorrow. You're excited. So am I. So am I. Well, I, I stand to, to gain something from it. So that's why, why I, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm excited. Full, full disclosure. Yeah, yeah. I am so excited. And I, and when I say what I said, I mean, I'm not really, um, you know, for me, it's not like not really as much as it's about like, oh, you know, we're going to sell this many tickets or whatever. We have other, we have like, people hired to handle that yeah i don't even participate in that side of it as much i mean i want everybody to go buy a ticket and go to see the show because i want as many people to go as possible but that's so not it's like 
it was the most fulfilling kind of, I don't know, like, it's so funny because we've done stuff online that was probably seen by more people than would be at our live shows yeah. or this yeah. or that. But there's something to be said about you do it live. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, oh, here's a video. Oh, check out our new Ava video. Oh, a million people, a million views. Cool. But then you do like a show with, you know, a hundred people in some place in Virginia. Yeah. And it's like, wow, we did it. You know, it's like, there's something like so special about a yeah. live thing. Yeah. It's, it's and, different energy. It's great. Yeah. And that's how we started is we all met in live theater and then, you know, we moved on to other things and it's been great. But getting back in touch with that, it's like, oh, this is why we love this. Yeah. You know, it's, I don't know. It's really, really special. It's really fun. Yeah, it was fun going with you guys last time. No one knew who the fuck I was. Yeah. So it was funny, like, like one person would come up to me like, yo, are you John? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to figure out. Yeah, what's, uh, who's all going? I'm assuming it's all the same. I think it'll be the same, same bunch. Same group. Meg asked me today. Sorry, yeah. I'm going to embarrass Meg on oh, here. Fuck. Sorry, Meg. Meg was like, Sorry, Meg. Cause she's in Texas currently. Yeah. And she's like, you think there's going to be like an extra spot there or you think I should jump on the tickets? I was like, Meg, <laughs> if you have to buy a ticket to this, I'll kick someone's ass. Yeah. Like, you <laughs> do not touch the ticket link. Yeah. yeah. Meg is going, I am telling, I'm putting it right here. She's going to be at our Texas shows. Yeah, I want. Yeah. Me- I won't do them if Meg's not there. Meg is part of the crew. Just because she's in another state right now doesn't mean that's not true. So when we're in Texas, she better be at those shows. In oh, fact, yeah. we have some parts of this to show that you know I don't want to give anything away that are combat related. I think we should. I think we should fight. Meg should fight us. Yeah. I don't want to say we fight Meg because that, that sounds aggro. That sounds yeah. like yikes. <laughs> um, but she, she can beat us up. I'm. I'm given permission. Eric will need to buy a ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about Meg. This is a Meg thing. Yeah. Eric is on, he's kind of on his own. Check Ticketmaster, Eric, if you can't. Uh, StubHub sometimes has deals because the, these are going to rack up. Yeah, Eric. Eric's on his own. But Meg, you're you're set. Give her a VIP seat on stage. Hey, there are some people who do get the VIP seat. You never know. I have the worst wedgie happening. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Let's we'll see what happens here. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> oh, he's... Where's he going? He's pulling his wedge. <laughs> I just oh, hear, no, don't, don't, don't film me. <laughs> don't film me, bro. Probably still see him. What happened? Did you take care of business? Yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't want to explain it. What? <laughs> oh, chat went away. Sorry. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, Are see? You get- oh, someone saw it. I don't have wedgies that often. I, it doesn't really happen to me as much. But sometimes you just have like a... I don't want this. Yeah, you want it. Sometimes you just have a... Uh, I'm just going to say it because not, you know... Sometimes people are afraid to talk about it, you know, there's stigma. Sometimes I just have permanently itchy asshole, you know, but I don't have wedgies. I just have the other thing. Or sometimes it's just like, what's happening? Okay. Are you guys doing PAX West this year or is it too soon? Um, we just don't know. <sighs> there, there's your answer. I, I think there'll be something Mega 64 really I just don't know what we don't know we don't know yeah. uh, we should we, we should have we should know soon uh, I do know that there will most likely be something on the show floor in uh, from us I just don't know who is going like are we like we yeah. maybe we're all we might all be going but maybe not I don't know I have, we'll, we'll find that out soon and let everybody know. Yeah, it's just hard to say because everyone we've talked to is just like, wait, they're doing a convention? Yeah. Oh, they are? You know, I'm not like, wor- I'm not like worried for my safety. 
but other people are like, well, I don't know about the. You know, there's still yeah. like p- people feeling weird. But I know that the PAX people, when they had reached out about it, were, were all about it, safety in mind, keeping safety in mind, and all that stuff with all kinds of stuff. So uh, I don't think they would do it if it was gonna suck, you know, at all. Yeah. But uh, and PAX West is a blast. So um, yeah, I'm uh, I I wanted to go well, but I just don't know who all is down to go yet. I'm still figuring that out. Do you think we'll ever stream going to Beef and Bun for so long that we become hungry again and just go back to Beef and Bun? Uh, I can go back right now. Oh, Actually, I'll, I will. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I, I pickle fries for great. Yeah, it makes you miss the regular fries, <laughs> huh? I thought I had another fry. I got one, though. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good MLK just all day. Didn't this start as an MLK stream? Yeah, yeah didn't it? Yeah. I was getting shakes. We do need to get sponsored by Beef and Bun and Dave's Hot Chicken. Oh, D- yeah. Dave's is a chain. Yeah. yeah. Like Beef and Bun, that's mom and pop, so if yeah. they don't want to do it, that's fine. Yeah. But Dave's, you have no excuse. Dave, Dave is leaving us up at the up a creek with a thumb up our ass. Sponsored how so? Like free food? Because Both. if that, I would die. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm already eating there every day, so like, I might as well not pay for it. <laughs> Mama, Ku- Mama Kuma, thank you for your sub. Going to the Indianapolis show. Who's buying tickets tomorrow? I want to know. Uh, I'm buying. I'm, I gotta yeah, buy same. Tickets. Saw a couple no's. Ooh, not oh, good. Oh, no. I'm seeing a lot of yeses, but those no's are really getting, you know, I'm, yep. I'm pretty fragile. I think we should cancel a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah. feeling like, <laughs> I, well, if there, a no's, I mean, if there's no interest. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, good morning, Glue Joel. Good morning, Joel. Gift a bunch of subs. Thank you. Thank you. Split side for the class show. Are you guys... Good to keep. I don't want to like keep anyone oh, here. Oh, I'm fine. Are you okay for now? I'm good. You need Probably to go for a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah. Just let me let, let me know. Good. There is one. Everybody, as you get older, you recognize your strengths and weaknesses. And I will say, one of my weaknesses is sometimes I don't know when. I'm like I'm like I would do this for seven hours yeah. and go wait. I needed to leave. Like you know, <laughs> I'm bad at knowing. So that's one thing. Feel free to interject. Like, all right, let's wrap this up. I'm not going to be the one to say it. I'll be here until there's 1% battery. Like, yeah. Yeah, I love Evangelion. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, Kevin looks tired but content. Well, that's good. That's okay. That, the tired. You look tired. See that? Hey, you know what? That's my least favorite thing to hear at a con. Yeah. And I miss it now. <laughs> now, I'm when someone says it to me, I'm going to be like, <gasps> oh, I am oh tired. yeah. I am. Thank you. And the second time, fuck off. I don't want to hear it. But that first time, I'm gonna. I'll be happy to hear that. You look tired. I missed you. I will hug that person. I will hug that person. I missed you so much. Is there? What is one minute or whatever dumb thing that you miss from conventions? doing or doing events like that is there one thing you know what i mean obviously it's easy to say like oh i missed the doing a panel or doing whatever i'm talking a stupid thing like what's a stupid you know like oh i go early in the morning to get a pretzel at the convention fucking terrible food thing you know something like that is there something you miss i i for myself i miss being there in the morning before it opens at conventions and you can kind of hear the buzz outside yeah. the, the crowds out there and I and I, and I like being at the booth with a coffee and then you know Sean rolls in morning you yeah, know I and like then that. you you stroll in and it's you know you know are, are Garrett and Derek coming where are they okay you know <laughs> oh, the, you know oh and then Garrett comes up you will let the fucking Starbucks had a security line and I and they saw my belt and said is that a weapon and I said, no, you know, there's that. Yeah, I miss, no, I, gave this I just miss the feeling in the morning where it's like exciting. It's, you know, things about to pop off and, 
and oh, I hear today's a big day. I hear the line outside is down the block and underground and through the sewer. You know, oh wow, you know, that's actually not a good thing. But but you know what I mean? That that little buzz in the morning. I miss that quite a bit. Yeah. Um I miss just seeing cities. Yeah, and yeah. Walking around and finding out different yeah. places to eat. Stuff like I totally that. agree. That's my, that's my favorite part. I totally agree. But that was fun in the tour, too. Oh, yeah. yeah that yeah. was really fun in the I'm tour. Really all those excited. East Coast. That, all the East Coast. Stuff. But now we have a bonchon here. Yo. So that's oh, all that yeah. matters. We ate the, the Korean chicken in New York was great. And then we found out there's one like 20 minutes yeah. away. Oh, yeah, there is. I gotta, we got to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, is the new tour going to be largely the same show from the last tour, or were there changes? Uh, it is the last laugh show, which has a arc to it like it it's gonna be that show but there will be different stuff yeah um there will there will be some updates i'm trying to think like when we're in new york we're gonna be in brooklyn i'm like where do we go i kind of want to take you guys to best pizza because that's the best pizza because it's funny that's called best pizza it's the best pizza though i wouldn't say it's the best pizza but it's pretty good what about the dollar slice place or something? Like oh, that's in Manhattan. Uh, we're gonna be like, I don't know if we're like gonna have time to like be in Manhattan. See, when I think of New York, I think it's like it's like a six block radius. Yeah. <laughs> Does it take a long time to get there? <laughs> From Manhattan? uh, by car, no, but by train, yeah. Okay. Because I, I do want to go there. I, yeah. I, I got to be stopping by that oh, Nintendo store. Yeah, because we're to Coney right. Island. We're like deep Brooklyn, so it's, it's kind of hard to get Is over there. Is it hard to get to Coney yeah. Island? Oh. Uh, no, not from, uh, I mean, we could get, I would love to go to Coney Island. Yeah, that'd be Coney fun. Island. I've always heard of Coney Island. They might be fucked up because we're going like the winter, but. Uh, somebody said, would you ever come to Toronto? We were so close. We really were going to do, we were going to try. But again, it was, we, it was there's still uncertainty around it and how do we do this and come back to the U.S. and the amount of... It, it, there was a lot of questions up in yeah. the air. So we're not, but I really think we're going to try at some point to do like, yo, Canada, we're coming directly to you. You know, once it's like... Once there's no question. Yeah. Because right now it's still like, oh, all right, well, you're going to try doing that. You know, it's a lot, there were a lot of questions. Too many. Do a show in Hawaii. That would be sick. I've never no, been to that would Hawaii. be sick. Our friend Emily is out there. Yeah, and yeah, she yeah. sent And she sent me a, uh, or not me, but she. I think she commented on this. Like, what did she say? She's like, no Hawaii show, waste of a tour, or something like that. She said something where it was just like, <laughs> oh, I can't remember what she said. I want to hit all 50 states at some point. Yeah. Did you see the flood at NYC subways? Yes. Dude. I, want, I, I don't think that. No. I want to oh show that on Mega Sixty Four and Yeah. You. Oh, you have yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> Not this week, but next week. Yeah. Yeah. It's straight up flooded. I mean, I saw. Yeah. I saw someone waist high. Yeah. I have. I have the video here. Oh my gosh! How do you get your train? <laughs> I don't know. That is fucked. That is up. fucked up. God. And the trains were running too? I guess so. She's oh. trying to get to a train. Yeah, she's like running late. She's like I, you, swimming you, to the you train. You couldn't fucking pay me. No. She went fucking waist deep in that fucking... Like, that's how you get COVID too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's, anytime there's a flood in a city, it's sewage. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it is backed up sewage because... There's, there's like... Yep. There's definitely rats swimming there yeah. too. Yep. Like... Yep. She got COVID-20. Yeah, I guess Hawaii, Hawaii has a lot of tourists right now. Right? Sonic Adventure one ending. Very oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like Dude. the Universal Studios, right? Oh, yeah. I love that part. I love that part. Yeah. Uh, I always forget about it, too. And then we yeah. get to that, and it's like, oh, yeah, they're, yeah. About, they're about to flood the place. It's all, it's all practical. It's great. Love it. Um, speaking of Sonic. Yeah. Man, I'm late to the party on this, but I just saw the Sonic Anniversary oh, Symphony. Oh, yeah. They did a symphony thing. Do you know about this guy? No. Is it on Apple Music? Or uh, no, no, it's on YouTube. Oh, they I put would, up a whole concert. I would love them to put that like on a streaming somewhere because yeah. I really wanted to hear yeah, it. Yeah, or put or, or put that concert on a fucking Blu-ray. Yeah, I'll yeah, buy yeah. It. But anyway, uh, they did a concert. I'm like, oh, Sonic concert, whatever. I'll put it on while I work. 
it, I have, I am someone who for years has been like Sonic. Pfft. Yeah. How, how did it emotionally move me? It was like, it was like, I wanted to cry. Like it was so good. Uh, they did, they great. did medleys of the old Sonic music and then they did Sonic Game Gear medley. They're doing oh. Game Gear music with a symphony. And then, and then like they do a symphony for half of it. And then they break for a minute and it's Chow Garden. Chow Garden music with a symphony. And then they come back and wait, this isn't the symphony. These guys with electric guitars come out. They start busting out the electric jam. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I have to take it yeah. I, I, Rolling around at the speed of sound. It's like, okay, this was, I don't know how it was so yeah. good. I, I did get emotional during the Sonic and Knuckle music. Yeah. I just got taken back to like good. playing that game with my dad when I was a kid. And yeah. I was like, this is fucking sad. It's that, not sad. But. That was, I don't, I was so surprised. I've been so jaded about Sonic for so long, and then I watched that, and it was like, oh, Sonic. <laughs> I love that they were here long enough that Johnny finally grabbed the... the He's having the rest of the shake. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the realize, fuck? Didn't even realize. Oh, though, me too. I was done with the Mountain Dew, and now I'm like, ooh, ooh, Mountain Dew. <laughs> you know. That was half a joke. Have I really did just instinctively grab that. <laughs> just grab it. You guys like roller coasters. I don't typically go on those. I like them. Oh, are we going to be by Cedar Point? Oh. Are we going to be in Ohio at all or no? Oh, I, I'm drawing a blank. I, I can't remember. I've always wanted to go to Cedar Point. Yeah. I will say. Cedar Point. It's the knots coming Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. yeah they know say, what they're doing. Their upper level lets you get into those parks for free. Ooh. Oh, the pass. Yeah. Maybe I should do it. Dude, the fucking Six Flags. Yeah, we're going to Columbus. Oh. That's, we're going to be right near We got to go. Oh, we got to go to Cedar Point. The, the uh, Six Flags in New Jersey just built a, a ride called the Jersey Devil, and they made it all devil-themed. I'm <laughs> so fucking hyped. Yeah. <laughs> it's a couple hours from Columbus. Oh, okay. So Shit. That's probably going to be annoying. Well, not by roller coaster. Those are fast. Yeah. What, how fast in coaster time? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that, that is the devil. That, that is the awesome? devil's roller coaster. It's refreshing, like you were saying, yeah, to yeah. know that in 2021 they can build a new ride that isn't based on an IP. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. It's yeah. not. Nah, it's just Satan. <laughs> it's just, just Satan. the devil. Oh, okay. Uh, I was reading about it, and apparently they have like a queue that's like all based in Jersey Devil lore. Whoa. And I was like, I want to go on that. That sounds awesome. They got shit on because they built that fucking Harley Quinn ride, and no one fucking liked it. Oh, they did. Yeah, it was, it was one of those fucking coasters where it's just like a big square and it kind of just like flips you around. Uh, and you kind of go into like a Z. Irvine is getting a water park. You guys already had close by. You had uh, Soak City, USA or whatever. <laughs> X-Files episode. Yeah, that's right. I've, I've never seen any X-Files. I saw some. It was okay. But here's the thing is it's one of those shows back in the day that they didn't know how to end like oh, like yeah. oh yeah have it go on as long as possible so it goes on another thousand seasons and by the end it's I don't even think Mulder and Scully are in it yeah and it ends you know I remember when Lost ended people were pissy about the ending you know of course yeah. and then I remember I think it was the creator of it or somebody involved with the show was like okay cool you guys all like the X-Files yeah how'd that end and people just shrugged and it was like I'd rather you were I'd rather have a definitive ending even if you were mad about it yeah. than fizzle out or drop off yeah. like that did, you know. Yeah, X Files really, yeah, season six or so. Show. But I didn't see the whole thing. I saw some and it was okay. Vince Gilligan was like the head writer, right? Yeah, one of them, I think. Yeah. yeah. Went on to do Breaking Bad. They should make Y Files. I agree. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm, I'm the, fucking mad that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> They uh, they did a new season of X Files yeah. years later, right? in like 2016 yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. And then they did. Remember, they did it again. Like, okay, you know, yep. we did a limited season. We're gonna do one more little limited yeah. season. And I don't know what happened. I didn't watch it. Maybe people out there know. But uh, who, the woman who played Jillian Anderson, yeah. who yeah. played Scully. People were pissed about the ending, and she wrote on Twitter, "I'm right there with you." I'm never coming back to this show. Basically, she said, like, I'm done with this show. Like, yeah. I, I told them this made no sense. Eh. They did it. And I think it's something to do with she had a baby or she has an alien baby or something. There is something where she's pregnant or yeah. something. 
And she's like, I am just as upset as everyone there, and my time on X-Files is done. And I think because she did that, Fox is like, well, we're not bringing it back. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're not going to have her. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a clip from the new season yeah. that I saw. I don't know what the fuck happened it, but uh, David Duchovny's character got, like, high or something. <laughs> and it, it was just, Sounds like, great. a montage of him, like, like all squinty-eyed, but then the background kept changing. Yeah. Like, he was just walking all these places, like, yeah. high as fuck. And that made me laugh. Um, I always liked him. Yeah, yeah, he's And great. he is a character. <laughs> he plays a woman in Twin Peaks. Oh. Um, Denise. In Twin Peaks, whose character came back in the new one, mm-hmm. and that was a great just for one scene, and it was really good. Cool. Um, and uh, where where David where David well David Lynch has a character. He's he's another FBI guy. Yeah, and he talks about how other people in the force made fun of Denise for transitioning, mm-hmm. and he told and he told them to fix their hearts or die. <laughs> It's a great scene. Anyway, uh, but then Jillian Anderson, I'm going to say controversial statement. Oh, shit. Has only gotten hotter oh. as the years have gone on. Because yeah. yeah, I saw bro. clips from the new X-Files. I'm just like, I, 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 I. Did you ever see her butt dress? What? What, oh, dude. <laughs> You're high. Why would you say that? Dude, this dress, she wore this shit in the 90s. And it blows me away every time I see well, it. Well, she let me say she was. Ri- I mean, I she was stunning in the new X Files, and then she did some Netflix show that I think Mariel was showing me or something. <laughs> what the hell? Can I show you can't be you can't be doing that. No, we're gonna get in trouble. No. You, have to, you have to show in the hot tub. <laughs> we're in a hey guys, we're in a hot. Oh, oh, it's getting hot. Water's getting hot. We're in the studio. Don't forget. <laughs> Thank you, Corridor Digital, for yeah. setting this up. Um, but anyway. Yeah, it was Sex Education. That was a show on yeah. Netflix. And it was just like, yeah, she's stunning in this. Anyway. She also posts pervy stuff on Twitter. Hold on. <laughs> what oh is, I can't check it on the phone. We're streaming. <laughs> He's doing some research I'm right doing now. some fucking research. recon. Do some recon right now. <laughs> we're, do, we're, 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 we're checking out those Y files. <laughs> which one is... Which, what, 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 yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know which one's Mulder and which one's Clay. Uh, I don't know either. <laughs> I love how... It's popping up in the middle of the stream. Oh, this auction's ending soon. Oh. It, I was trying to get a, a, one of the Trader Sam's mugs. That oh, we were shit. Talking about. There's oh. a the one with the the guy with googly eyes. Okay. They sell a mug of just a face that's like with googly eyes. I know I did a great impression of it. Everyone wants that mug. <laughs> anyway, but the one they have now is glazed too much that you barely see the dude's face. But the original run of it, it was like almost like it was just clay. Like it was. Okay. Uh, so I was trying to find it on eBay, but it's going for too much. Fuck him. She posts hashtag boobies of the day. Wait, what? Where, what? <laughs> what? I mean, the, the the recent one was like cardboard, though. Like it was, but oh, come of the on! Day. I please, I did that when I was twelve. <laughs> I don't want to look through this hashtag. I feel no. like no, no, you're good. It. Well, I have a feeling the battery is probably going to die on this soon, so we yeah. might want to say our goodbyes. Okay. Because it was it was flashing low, lower than ten percent yeah. quite a bit ago, so. BMX files, I like that. BMX files, yeah. <laughs> there was definitely a porno called the Sex Files, right? That's yeah. the easiest. Yeah. Files, easiest, like. yeah. Either of those are yeah. the easiest. Dude, they were hanging out like the other day. Wow. Yeah, maybe they're filming the new one. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, shout out, Dr. Ryan. Thank you for your sub. I mean, we just saw you. You could have just given us the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to touch all these buttons, but. <laughs> Yeah, just Venmo us, bro. Yeah, just uh, it's called PayPal. What what money transfer thing do you use the most? Venmo. So PayPal. you actually do a lot of Venmo. Yeah. I never dabble in Venmo. To me, it's like, yo, I know I know how I'm gonna sound. I'm gonna sound apple cocked. But iMessage is how I talk to everyone, and you can pay in that too. So just send it. So just you text someone, yo, twenty bucks. You can you literally just type it in there, yeah. And Apple Pay goes, all right, just send them twenty bucks. Yeah, Doc Ryan, send us twenty bucks. So that is Venmo stuff. <laughs> Kevin, do you you do any of those or uh, what? I do PayPal mostly, but I just started doing. Yeah, I do do a lot of PayPal. Apple Pay recently yeah. to to pay back. Like if somebody gets a pizza, here's my yeah. Card. I, I I owed Frank like. 10 bucks when we did yeah. that that uh, 4th oh, of yeah. July stuff yeah. and I was like I just Apple Pay and he, didn't, he, he was like wait what he, I don't think he knew anything about yeah. it <laughs> or he hadn't done it or something so I texted him 10 bucks it was just like 
<laughs> what? I have ten bucks now. Yeah. yeah, it was like it doesn't seem right because yeah. it's within the te- you, it's within where you text people. So yeah. it's like, how can that be money? Well, it's in yeah. there. Yeah, knowing you is like I didn't have a setup either until you, you sent me something. Oh, like, really? Oh, okay. I don't know if I have a setup. I, I've never received money on it. Oh. I'm going to send given. you some fucking money after this. Dude, That'll yeah. light a fire. Send me it. whatever and I'll, I'll transfer it. I'll, yeah. see, I'll see jokes, if I'm set up. Joke's on you. I am going to send you money. <laughs> Zell's where it's at? No. My dad has Zell. Dude, yeah. And it fucking, he has like, he always like, he'll be like, hey, I sent you uh, 20 bucks. I'm like, I didn't get it. Well, it said, I sent it to you. So I don't yeah. know where it went. I'm like, I didn't get it. We, I don't. We worked with a vendor who was making some of, I don't remember what product for us. But they were like Zell. Zell's the way to go, and it was we had nothing but issues. Yeah, something changed or something, and it didn't. Work. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, just, Ryan just Ryan just I, I just got a text on the phone. A dollar from where's my dollar? A dollar yeah, from where, Ryan. Dude, where's mine, Ryan? Jeez, <laughs> God damn it! Right in the middle of the stream, it was <laughs> about one dollar from one dollar from <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Dude, I got a free dollar. That's this stream was worth it. Dude, got a man, dollar. One dollar. Worth a dollar. Made a dollar, <laughs> guys. We're set. Worth a dollar makes you laugh. Do you want to stop the, well, the butt? Oh, sorry. I was looking. <laughs> Why did you, Anderson. Jesus Christ. Phil. He's <laughs> <laughs> calling right. someone Phil. Oh. Well, you know, call it like I see it. Um, It's how you donate without Twitch taking a cut. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to give... That's true. Twitch does oh, take... Oh, oh, got, got a dollar. For you got one, too? Got a dollar. Uh-oh. Kevin, you're up next. Kevin, how's it look? <laughs> oh, no. Kevin's sitting... Kevin's got pulling out his pockets. He's got Hoover flags back there. <laughs> Come on. Fucking Malt's coming out of his phone right now. Yeah, right? that sucks, dude. <laughs> bank, that bank account's looking dry as a bone. Oh, all right, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, so oh, vibrated. Uh-oh. Nothing vibrated. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, he says fuck you. Oh, he says no. fuck you. Wow. Oh. Charge. Hey, you can charge them. Like you can. Yeah, charge them. You can no. request money. <laughs> you can request a huge amount. I've done that when they started doing Apple Pay. I started sending five thousand dollar requests to people because you could text it and it's just a button and then you press it to like deliver on it. So I would send that to people and people would be like, I don't want this on my screen. Get rid of it. Ryan, a one dollar request. <laughs> See if he delivers. <laughs> this is my favorite future probe. Yeah, this is yeah. I have to say, it's a good, it's a pretty good one. We you all made, all made me. a buck. Yeah, we all made a dollar. Yeah, everybody in this car made a buck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Rachel's in the chat. She's pissed that her yeah. husband got a dollar. <laughs> I didn't get a dollar. Oh, you didn't get it. Well, maybe Rachel, maybe Rachel will get one. You know? I have cash dollars. That's Thank it. you, Hugmaster, for giving the subs. That's cool. The Hugmaster. Master of subs? Submaster, I said. Well, that sounds weird. Mm. Um, anyway. Submaster. <laughs> anyway, we're going to send... Uh, we're getting money. We're getting paid yeah. here. I got... I'm thinking... What? I got my dollar. Oh, oh you got, got it. I got... Thank you, Ryan. Tell, Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Quest tell, worked. Tell me what you think of this plan, too. Be Be real. Twitch does take a cut of all the subs. If I put my phone number in the chat, <laughs> yeah, everyone can just <laughs> yeah, dur- uh, pay there. or not PayPal. Apple pay me a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> now it would the loss of privacy would suck, but the money. Yeah. <laughs> what? And then all the Android people, they could just sell you. Yeah, Android. Uh, just s- send cash or something. Yeah, send yeah. an envelope. <laughs> Casual vitality. Thank you for the subs. That smell. <laughs> anyway, I'll think about it next time. I might give out my number next time and just get it done. Yeah. Get a second phone with a public number for donations. No, that's dishonest. Yeah. No, it's got to be the real one or none. Nah, I got. Yeah, I got to go. Go. Go bigger. Go home. Boys, what's your social security numbers, Kevin? I don't. Uh, two. That's all you remember. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't big. It was like it was like oh, your social security missed a couple numbers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Seven eight two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, cool. Well, like I said, this is probably gonna die any minute now. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap this stream up. Thank you guys. You know, it was kind of cool. You know, checking out something a little different. Yeah. San Diego cuisine. You know, you always like to branch out, expand. I think we had a chance to do that. 
I feel like I'm going to die. So yeah. uh, it's money well spent. You are, you know, I'm going to put that dollar towards therapy. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to invest it. Me yeah. too. I'm, 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 I'm going to turn it into do, I'm, Doge. Yeah, I'm going to put it in Doge and be a millionaire. Yeah. I'm opening up the Robin Hood app right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Robin Hood. We're going to check that out. We're going to invest in EB games. Yeah, I'm going to invest my $1 into EB something games. and make it something bigger. <laughs> Oh man! Wait, milf coin? Is that a weird, a real oh, thing? Oh fuck, dude! Everybody milf, makes milf coin. Dumb coins. Yeah. No, we got to do milf coin. I'm, I'm hearing it's great. <laughs> Chad is saying it's that's the way to go. Milf coin. We're gonna be using that instead of cash. Right, dollar coin. <laughs> dollar coin. Did you only go to beef and bun, or did you do hot chicken? Were we supposed to do hot chicken too? Oh, is beef and bun not enough for you? Ugh, I couldn't eat beef. I mean, a hot chicken. Tanga coin, yeah. That yeah, tra- yeah, hey yeah. hey uh hey uh uh yeah I'm I'm be mining for that later. <laughs> Not gonna go into that, but not gonna say. <laughs> All right. Uh thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end it right there. All right, good night. Uh take care everybody. Get tickets to the Mega 60 War last laugh show tomorrow starting yeah. at 10 a.m. wherever whatever time zone you're at. It's going up at 10 a.m. It's going to be a blast. So get the tickets. It's going to be so much fun. It's yeah. going to be, again, it's the tour. It's the show that we brought on tour, and we only did for a week before the world shut down. Yeah. It's going to be that show, plus even more and different stuff. And, you know, so it's definitely going to be worth checking out. Yes. And uh, ask anybody who went. It's a blast. Yeah. And you don't even really need to know Mega64 to enjoy the show. I mean, we know plenty of people who bought tickets who didn't even know what it was. Or they brought a friend yeah. who was like, I don't know what this is. And they had a great time. So... Tell everyone you know. Bring everyone you can. Bring the family. Bring a don't bring a pet. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Um, you know, bring a girl. Maybe you're dating someone and have it be like that Neil Hamburger show where yeah, we're, where uh, she does not understand the humor and the guy's getting mad about it. <laughs> Dude, just watch. Just watch. I don't know. We saw a couple break up during a Neil Hamburger show. Yeah, so just great. you know, make that happen. But anyway, I was eating borscht. <laughs> yeah, eating borscht and watching a couple break up. <laughs> You know, how do you top that? Anyway, all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. And yeah, see you on the next future. If I'm still alive after all this, see you on the next future probe. Bye. Goodbye. Fuck. Can't believe Doc Ryan.